Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> and as Lilith says, Whiskey Wednesday, bitches. And, and, and. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can spin the wheel. Lilith Morgan. Anyway. Oh, cool. Go, Lil. Hi, Lil. Hi. Oh, did you get your order done? Why isn't the wheel spinning? Because <laughs> it sucks and then it's broken. <laughs> Maybe... I just heard the kitty. Maybe I have to turn it on or something? Well, let's try... Maybe the other thing... Let's try this first. Well, the chat thing's working, so all the stuff you do. Okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Cool. Nice. Alright, that works. It is spin. I'm damn sure it is spin. Uh, maybe it's weird. It's been the wheel. Duh. Well, I couldn't test it last night. I'm all put was coming out. I mean, it could be it's not going to work because it's only probably going to pull in Twitch type Hello. chats. Hello. Actually, it doesn't look like it's going to work, is it? In that wheel? No, but spin was the command and then show wheel was the command. Good day. Dorman let in too. Good day. Sugar Kitty. Dorman let two in. Welcome to the pub. Dorman hey. let three in. Hi. Dorman let three in. Welcome to the pub. Oh, I'm gonna up my I thought that's what you were doing before. No, I wasn't. I was trying to get the chat thing work, and I've worked out with the <laughs> chat thing. Oops, you know. I worked out with the chat thing because if you have scheduled streams, the stream overlay seems to get locked to that first stream that's scheduled, and then any subsequent stream, it won't connect to it, which is really annoying. And I don't understand why. Yeah, it looks like the show wheel yeah. thing doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Good day, Anthony. Yeah, it's not working. I'm gonna find that. Well, I'm gonna go to this computer. <gasps> Hey. The sun beat me. You got rid of. There's a store on the phone. Oh. Yeah, it's on the phone. Okay. Why isn't this working? Because you suck. Thanks. <laughs> Where's the overlay? Why overlays? Chick kitty! Hi! Uh, hey Ken, how's that? it going? Good you mate, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm awesome. well. Where? Oh, there Hello is. Carly, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm just trying to fix this crap. Wheel. So I've worked out how the chat thing works. I can't schedule any streams because it just locks them to the first one. So. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright. Middleware setup. Middleware provided by a. Can you read that? I can't read that. What? Yeah, middleware setup. JD Bourbon Approach. Oh. oh. Hey, JD. G'day, JD. <coughs> uh, middleware provided by LX. Mike hey, Mike. Announce results to chat. No. Oh, so that's announcing results. Alright, main settings. 
show wheel. Yeah. I says no. You got no. It should be yes. No, that's show wheel on load. Yeah, no. Uh, skin command. All right, well, let's try that. There we go. We'll save that. Hey! Yeah, but is it going to trigger? Meow meow! Alright, let's see if it triggers. Spin. Meow! I think he wants to go and do that. And it doesn't spin. Well, why is there a red dot thing down on it? Oh, it's nice. Someone else. Wheel command. Yeah. Good day. What's that say? Nightbot. Play. Nightbot. Tick sound. Just said what did the hat say to the scarf? You can hang around. I'll it's just bad dad joke. A what? That's a bad dad joke. That's a really bad dad joke. Advanced settings. Mm. No, nah, must be Twitch only. Because all the other chat ones are working. That does not work. What's the wheel supposed to do, Ken? Uh, it's got 25 different distilleries in there, so when you Just type spin in the chat, it should spin around an empty bottle. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then land on the distillery, so it's great for suggesting. Lou said it worked the other night. No, only if I hit the button manually. Do it manually, then you idiot. No, I have to go into the stream elements, go into my overlays, open my overlay, go to the settings. That's... The same thing, but I've changed it and edited it. But it's it's not going to work because it's not for YouTube. It's only for Twitch. Pet pet. Like everything is written for Twitch. There's, there's only like two different ones that actually work for anything else other than Twitch, and that's the voice pop up. I mean the pop up thingy and the um, what's the name? Um, uh, look at Chef Beach. Chef Beach. Dorman, let three in. Welcome to the pub. Whoop. Dorman, let three in. Oh, Welcome to the us. pub. Dorman, four. let four in. Welcome to the pub. Hey, Chef Beach. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're going to do something with that. Alright, so there's another weird thing as well. The text on Simon's tag is smaller than Everyone mine and Cliff's. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Hey, Dorman, let two in. Dorman, let two in. Welcome to the pub. There we go. Dorman, let five in. Ooh. Welcome to the pub. <laughs> Dorman, <laughs> let four in. Welcome to the pub. <laughs> I forgot four and five are so similar, so I have to use the word fiver because four and five are so similar. It's automatic Dorman, response. Let five in. in. <laughs> no. Yeah. Dorman, let five in. Welcome to the pub. There you go. See so if you use there the right one. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Please come to say hi. Windy kitty. Okay, fine. Oh well, we can't use the spinny wheel. Doesn't work. Just do it on your phone. I, I thought you worked that out this morning. No, no, the, I never got a chance to use mm. the spinny wheel. 
You still shouldn't have drugged me. No, I know. That was extreme. Mm. Simon Delvecchia. Mm. Mm. That's not, though. Holy shit. Right? Oh, I'm really? For the best of times. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I got the notification around, I don't know, 4 a.m. my time. But said that you were uh, going live. Then I saw the test. This is only a test. So I yeah, like, I was trying to test it, and the chat overlay doesn't work if you schedule a stream. It'll only work for the first stream. Oh my as god! As soon as you schedule a stream, the, the chat overlay will only attach to that first stream. Any subsequent stream will not work. It'll only work to that first stream. Because I, I did that stream this morning, and I did a uh, second one straight afterwards, and that was a brand new stream. Didn't work. And then I noticed when I was doing something else, I noticed that Julie had written something she was bored or something in the in the thing, and it came up, and I thought, ah, that's right, it was an OBS. It popped Eric, up. I am, like, I am oh, there you go. That's it. It's it's definitely I am attached. Yeah, it's definitely attached to that first string. Uh, well, I just fiber. I just realized that those are ears on top of julie's thing I, I couldn't figure out what they were i'm staring <laughs> at them not because she's you know, all done up there you go that's perfect now i got it i couldn't figure out what the heck that was <laughs> and you can change colors with them how cool is that have they got lights on them those years that is yeah. i didn't know they i guess they do light up because they're very fluorescent yeah they look like they light up and they you probably know, do the cool music be jealous stuff. Now. When you got music run, they probably flash and do all yeah. sorts of shit. So yeah. with with these little panels up here at the top. Oh my god, man! Now my words are really big. The <laughs> 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 <My> name is huge. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking <laughs> oh, hell. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can fix that and make that mine. Thank you. I can make mine too. There you go. Mine's big. <laughs> oh, okay, so with the with their little ear panels, and actually they're also on the sides here. Um, you know the color spectrum wheel? Yes. You know every yeah. color on there? I can make that any color on that wheel. And then I can have it um, stationary, a stationary color. I can have it okay. as a heart, a heartbeat pulsing, or I can have it like tuned into whatever music my phone or the device, my um, headset is Bluetooth paired to. So if oh, there's music ladies. playing, I can have my Spotify playing in the background. <laughs> and my Ew. headset will like flash and beat <laughs> and pulse to the music that I'm listening to. No, nice. Yeah. It's probably that. You got floaties in your naked grass. Would you like some naked grass? No, it's just got floaties. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you want then, woman? Floaties give it oh, flavor, oh. Carly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why do you use a flavor? That's right. Eh, like? mm, I drink coffee. Well, I mean, you're covered in cat hair. I don't <laughs> care because I'm not wearing the work, so I'm not going to work tomorrow. Mm. So. <laughs> With the what? ears now, it's more like the Cheshire Hobbit. <laughs> what are you saying? You want hardcore? Oh, what he says, you want to get hardcore. <laughs> All right, I'm tiny in there. Hey, this is a children's <laughs> channel, remember? I was just going to say, yeah, <laughs> be careful now. <laughs> you, you want hardcore? Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah, there give her go. some obtanium. Give her some obtanium. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you broke me with what you broke me with. I go. think she has to oh, bottle yeah. chug it, though, to make it really feel the effect. <laughs> really, Simon? <laughs> well, she'll feel the effect. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's, it's actually, not the ABV on that. Yeah, have what a guess. It? Have a guess. Mm, I reckon it's only in the 60s. Hey? I reckon it's only 60s. Only 60? Mm. Are you talking <laughs> 60 proof or are you talking 60 ABV? It's in the 60s ABV. You reckon it's 60? Mm -hmm. All right, have a sip and then tell me what ABV you think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, smoky. No, it's not smoky, but what yeah. ABV do you reckon? You know what tastes smoky to me? Why? Because I like coffee. Oh, okay. Well, what ABV do you reckon? Now you've s smelled it and tasted it, what ABV do you think? Still reckon that it's high 60s. <laughs> I was right, high 60s. 68.5. It's almost has made. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I told you it was high 60s. But it doesn't taste like it, does it? No. Nope. Because I've had coffee and I just had a sip of this, it smells like a can. It tastes like a campfire in my mouth. Because mm. I've just had coffee and I've just had a tiny sip of this, it tastes like campfire in my mouth. See there, you, you're forcing Ken to try it. Now this, look at that. I'm not trying it, I'm drinking it. <laughs> forcing, he wasn't going to go really there. He was going to start off low and then work his way up. And now look, he's yeah, at the edge of the cliff and his toes are hanging off now. <laughs> yep. But you know what? I never used to drink anything like this. I know you never used to drink anything right. like that. You could get thrown back at you. Do you like it, Carly? Yes. It's quite tasty, isn't it's it? It's nice. Yeah. It's very smooth. Well, we're starting backwards, so we'll, we'll start with the old thing. <laughs> and then, uh, what should we go on after that? Smoke wagon? Smoke wagon or the... Got Swinton? It's just tastes like I've got a bush. Good day. Fire my man. Cheech Ardolino. Hey, Cheech. Hey, Cheech. Obtanium can lead to drunkness. That is very true. <laughs> Obtainian can lead to drunkenness. Yes, if Ken sits on it all night. Yes! Can lead to other things too, but like I said, this is a family channel now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening in this household. Oh, fudge Sega, rotten cat. <laughs> oh, now you know what I do. Whenever I sit down here, all I hear is meow, meow, meow. It's because the cat's meow. mad because the cat didn't get any. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Like, really? Yeah, you didn't like the smell of alcohol. Mm -hmm. So last night, I decided I was going to do a crack on a bottle that uh, I've had for a little bit. And uh, just to get some tasting notes on it, because you can't find it, but it's the Bardstown Discovery 1. Oh. It's, yeah, it's been off the shelves for a while, but... My wife managed to find it while she was down in Cheech's neck of the woods. And uh, I opened it up last night and it is 60 point. Hold on. Let me get this right. 60 point. God, let me get my thing. 60.605 ABV. So what about 122? Yeah. On the yep. proof. Just under. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, I will tell you what. It was really good and what i mean by what i'm referencing that was the the sweetness come through with a spice on the finish and good viscosity it had a good oily texture to it and pear is what i was getting off of as a matter of fact i didn't even say anything to my wife she took my glen and nosed it and she says i think i smell pear good day. and i said Yes, that's what I was getting off of it. Maybe a little apple uh, with honey on there. That's usually this what you get from like a Speyside Scotch or something. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. that would be that's that would be good. But like a Speyside Highlander, you can get pear and apple. So and I and I apple. got this thing down past the shoulder. Wasn't hard to do. Let me tell you, what's well, not hard to do oh i knew you would be cheech it's good and you know where this came from one of your little honey holes down there uh, uh, the first initial begins with a p of the place so anyway um it was really good now go to discovery five that i had last week discovery five is a real shitter <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, that was, what, what you described what the Discovery 1 was like, I was like, how does it compare to 5? But you've already said that. It does one not. 1 is amazing, 5 is shite. It is. 
but I figured out what that taste is and that Ooh. I didn't like because the nose was not bad. Nice the nose on Discovery 5 was not bad at all, but none of that came through. Um, I think it is that oak funk that was very, very prevalent in that 17 year juice that was mixed in with it. And they didn't, in uh, my opinion, they didn't balance it outright. And I think that's what that bitterness, that heavy bitterness that lingered after what's that. What's the oldest in batch one? What's that, Ken? What's the oldest in batch one? Oh my gosh, you want me to read? And I've only had two cups of coffee. <laughs> the, oldest, the oldest is 13 year, but that was only 5% Kentucky. That's it's 75% 11 year and seven months with a mixture of 10% Kentucky that's 10 years and 10% Kentucky that's five. Although it has anywhere from 12 to 18% rye mixture in the mash bills. And there's four different mash bills in it. So it has a good rye spice yeah. on the finish. And that's what I kind of like. I mean, you you knew you were, you were drinking something that had a little bit of rye in there. Uh, it was good. All right, so now that we've we've both had obtainium, which one do you reckon we go to now? Do we go to Smoke Wagon or Doxman? I would say the Smoke Wagon because I yes. think the Smoke Wagon is still above on the ABV. Then that's the Doc Swenson that you moved over. Yeah, that's the Doc Swenson. So this is forty. Yeah, twenty-five proof. This is Smoke Wagon. Smoke Wagon yeah. would be the next step, and then Doc. But you know, like I tell everybody, do That's whatever right. the hell you want to do. <laughs> and isn't a smoke yeah, wagon down the right. neck of the woods, Anthony? Yeah, I'm about uh, five miles, six miles from the distillery. So there we go. You're representing Anthony's distillery. That's right. I used to drive past it every morning. It was tough not to make that right turn. <laughs> but it, at four in the morning, four thirty in the morning, when I was going to work, I knew they weren't open. So yeah. I'd have just been hanging on a fence. <laughs> mm. uh, it's the alter ego, Shoot Kitty. So this one is the cognac and sherry finished. So who gave you the? Um... These are all JDs. I should JDs. send you a sample of that sugar kitty so you can experience it. So. Who was the um, 68.5%? Who'd that come from? JD. Ooh. Oh, it's come all the way from over. US of A. Oh, God. Yeah, you can't buy a smoke wagon in Australia. You can't get any of these. You can't get the Swinsons. You can't get the smoke wagon. You can't get the white whiskey. You can't get any of that. We can't get any of it. What? The one that was supposed to blow my brains out? No. It wasn't meant to blow your brains out. It was interesting because. Yeah. It smells more than what it actually tastes. The taste is really, really super smooth on that. Chummy. That like this, yeah. What's is that that wooden bill? Yeah, port finish. Okay. It's only 90 proof. It's a very odd looking bottle. It's a sexy looking bottle. I love it. You think everything's sexy? Well, it is. Look, I mean, this is actually. It doesn't wax. think I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have children, so I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> all right cheers big ears mm -hmm. well ken, ken i've got to thank you for that uh review on the glen scotia double cask oh, that's fantastic whiskey really nice uh, well worth the money it's a good price too. how much did you get it for uh 80 82 dollars Oh, not too bad. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely gone up in price since we did that. I was, I, I was thinking about getting a lark, and I was, I was just thinking uh, what Simon was saying. It was one hundred seventy dollars for that classic cask, um, but I thought no, I'll go with the Glen Scotia, and uh, it didn't disappoint. I've got to tell you that it was really nice. Well, you said you liked the Victoriana. I was like, well, you're definitely going to like that one because you know. Really nice. For the sherry cast would come through very nice, yeah. No, it's very tasty. No, it's yeah, a, a special good, one. Good drop. 
It's um, very nice. Bottle camera. <laughs> Bottle camera. <laughs> Pop the <Well>, chip. <laughs> Oh, and I would highlight myself, except I have to do it manually now because I don't have the. Uh, ah, that's better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Have, yeah, I don't have the command because he hasn't added the command yet. What? So you're a dickhead. <laughs> Shut up, you. Why did you just choke on Jules? <laughs> <laughs> so Simon, I'm like, Simon, this weekend I'm not going to go to Morris Wine, Morris Diary. Uh, Do they have taste? Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to ring them up and find out whether we have to book. Is that through Whiskey List? No, that's just Morris Winery down in Rubber Glen. Go and visit them because uh, the lockdown in Victoria for regional Victoria is off, so we can travel anywhere apart from oh, Melbourne. Good. And uh, then, um, actually, a friend of mine, he told me about a distillery in Yak and Dandok, Yak Distillery. So, uh, that, oh, yes, never heard of that. Yeah, so it's not too far across. So, we might do that if we get time. So, I'm looking forward to that. The, the, yeah, have definitely. you got an email from the whiskey list, Simon? Because they're doing a giveaway. You pretty much just got to enter the competition and they're doing a giveaway of some Morris whiskey. Oh. No, I haven't. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, definitely worth a try, Cliff. Yeah. And it's a, it's a nice day out to go to mm -hmm. these wineries and check things out. Um, I don't know whether they have a tour into the distillery section. Uh, they may well have. but uh, They I'll definitely have a tasting, though. Oh, yeah, got tastings. Mm -hmm. Um well, but I think I might have to book, see how I go. Would I ring that one? Yeah, well, Since you yeah. mentioned Morris, I'll go grab a dram of that. Can you show why you're at it? it? Yeah, I was like, that's the first thing I said. I was like, it's 858. <laughs> Dude, girl, girl, you and me, we got this. We got this. <laughs> He does, not, shit. he does not move without us freaking catching it. Like, I'm not even kidding. Nope. <laughs> so, do yes. you like the Obtanium or do you like the Smoke Wagon? No, like the. Um, you like the Obtanium yep. better? Oh, mm -hmm. she's a proofy bitch. Yep. <laughs> We've just got standards. What's the problem? <laughs> This is, this is 57%, but it's not good. It's not big. It's not enough. She has high standards. Don't drop the I'll ball. have to get a 120 Make bloody rye. Um, I have to get the 120 Knob Creek. Ooh, knobs? Yeah, it's Knob <laughs> Creek. Yeah. I have, I have a, I've got a mini knob in my wardrobe. <laughs> how, you, how you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think but, she's just uh, saying that. Because she sees the freak right behind me. I, right uh, I changed it under this jumper. Mumbazoa. Well. But you will never <laughs> know. <laughs> G'day, Mumbazoa. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the cookie the cookie I was choking on was one of the um, the TV snacks that have been collaborated. They collaborated with Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah, and I've there, seen them. I have a jar. Like, I have a cookie jar. When people are like, what's Julie's favorite thing in the world? And like, my friends are like, oh yeah, cookies. Cookies and whiskey. Whiskey, yes. And then everyone's like, oh yeah, like it's gotta be something else, not cookies, right? Like full grown adult. Cookies. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> nice. Oh. That would be Ken. Yeah. Nice. Lovely! Okay. Yeah. I like cookies. Oh, goddammit! <laughs> I'll fix it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I was, um, I was yes. checking Thanks on the... Thanks to you, JD. I was, I was checking on the strawberry sprinkle cookie. Ooh. It's but really nice. they're so nice. expensive to buy. I buy them. I buy them on sale when they're like $2 a 
plus 50 a box. <laughs> No. And what I do is um, I buy like I buy like two of each box because the kids eat them too and they get them as a real big treat. So because we're very big yep. on fr fruit and um, that sort of stuff and snacks. So when they're like, oh, can I have a cookie? It's like, okay, yeah, we can have a cookie, but we have to do this and this and this first. And they're like, yep. yeah, let's, you know, we'll go clean up our toys and we get all excited. It's like, okay, now we have to go to the potty. It's like, all right, let's do that. And then they get to, I didn't hand them a cookie either. The cookie, the cookie there is multiple cookies. I'll, all I do is open the lid and I hold the jar down and they're responsible for their own choice. And they love that. Hell. 12 year, not pretty single barrel, 120 is four pick. You can bottle that. Is that a uh, really rich taste, that mm. whiskey, musket barrel, Simon? Oh, definitely. It's probably yeah. one of the richest whiskies I've ever had. I was looking at it and it looks like it's pretty rich. I mean, it. look at the, I mean, yeah, sure I know. Look at the yeah, snap, that's natural I, I know. color. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to find out soon. That's going to be, looks looks like a really good whiskey. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sugar Kitty. You said you got a bottle of the Knob Creek 12 year. It's a single barrel, but the um, bottle is different. If the bottle that you have is taller and has the little dimples and stuff on the side, that's the new bottle. They don't have any more of the older bottle, which is the shorter bottle. And that's what all of these are. They're single single barrel store picks and they are the older bottle and they're shorter. I have a newer one, which is this store pick. And then if you touch it on the back, it's hard to see, but you can see the little dimples I was telling you about. That's the newer yep. bottle. So uh, they are the same as far as milliliters. It's just, they made it taller and thinner. Okay. That's what I've been told. Okay. Guess where cue ball is it today? Yeah, I know, he's in the Mino Expo. Yeah, and, and guess what he got to um, try today, because guess who's there? Legal Tender Rum. Whippersnapper. Yeah, I know, I saw it on Facebook. Yeah. He was with Dad <laughs> So Whippersnapper is that one Me of the fairs, expos here, so you get to try all the whippers. Oh, nice. It's a two day expo, so it's today and tomorrow. Yeah. I was meant to go to Chantel for Tupperware, but we didn't go. You didn't have one? No. Oops. I think we both forgot about it. Oops. We, we were going to go. Oh. And you could have gone because you're not working tomorrow. No, yeah, I, I got to get, get some more coffee. Be right back. All right. Okay. Exactly, though. You can fit more on the shelf. Very nice. I won't be staying there tonight. Nice. Tonight, I've got to go to bed Chris soon. Tonight. Nice. Oh, he's at work. He'll come in about 10.30. Ah, uh, okay. How's lockdown <laughs> going, Lil? Well, they're out of lockdown. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Who's still in lockdown? Uh, Simon? I think Victoria's still on lockdown. No, nah, no one in WA is on lockdown. Uh, yeah, no. Mel no, Melbourne like... is. No, Only Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Regional Wales. Wales. yeah. Getting a lot of trouble in New South, South Wales. Wales. 300 oh, yeah, yeah. cases today. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm sorry, did you guys say New South Wales are not in lockdown right now? No, no they are. They are, I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, yeah. they got 300 new cases today. A 90 year old man died, he got and a 30 year old man with no preconditions died last night. Yeah. I'm like, oh. yeah, it's, spread, it's, it's spreading it's, in the regions too. It's real. It's yeah. I was going to say Dubbo goes into lockdown yep. now as well because they have new cases out of Dubbo. Yeah. Yeah. They should have done what Victoria did, put a ring of steel around Sydney. It's probably going to be too late. Yeah, man. but the, the problem, if that's not even the problem. The problem is in Sydney, there's no rules for the rich and they treated it like that. And then suddenly they did have rules, but they're like, we well, don't need to abide by these. And the, the only reason I can back this up is because I have a lot of family who live down there. So I'm actually yeah. getting these phone calls daily going, I cannot believe this is what i'm seeing i'm physically seeing this shit like my auntie is an ag teacher down there and she's like no 
not. It's it's they're never getting out of lock. They're not going to be out of lockdown the, yeah. by the end of the year. No way. No. No. No way. No, no way. Three hundred cases in one day yeah, of the fucking Delta variant. Three hundred and forty-four was today. I think it was. Jeez. Yeah, and no, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday it was. Yeah, yesterday it was three hundred and fifty-six. Yesterday. Yeah. So it's gone down, but barely. What it's gone is. from 200 and something up to 300 and something. So it's gone. It, ju- up yeah. to going it jumped here. by yeah. almost, it, in the span of 48 hours, it jumped by almost 100 cases. Yeah. A lot of the shops in the suburbs of Sydney are still open. I couldn't believe it. What? You know, they're just trading as yeah, normal. Well, yeah. <laughs> in Melbourne. Yeah, people don't, people don't care. Yeah. Yeah. And well, the issue is they can afford, those shops can afford the fines because of the foot traffic. Yeah, because of the regular foot traffic, these people are able to charge higher prices because they're open. So now, as a result of that, they're able to pay the fines. They don't care. No. Some of them aren't even getting it. fines. The gold standard in New South Wales balked it when one of my mates in Newcastle did this. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, I know there's a teacher's age. 156 from the Indro cluster. Yeah. Um, I got t- there's a teacher's aide here in Geraldton, and her mum had the first of the um, Delta variant. No, the injections, like the ones that for the older generation. The Pfizer. And eight days after, uh, uh, yeah. AstraZeneca. Eight days after oh, she AstraZeneca. Had it, yeah. Yep. Eight days after she had it, she had anxiety. She is now living with. Her daughter, because this all happened eight days afterwards, there was like no anxiety, no panic, no nothing like that pre occurring before the vaccination. As soon as she had her first jab, it all started, and her mum is not in a good way at all. Well, there's a reason they call it a vaccine. Yeah, that's the reason they call it an experimental vaccine. This technology has never been used before. Well, yeah, and the, the 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 main population, it's fine. But the the downside is that the extent of testing that you would normally do to weed out the people that are uh, the anomalies that get affected by this crap haven't had a chance to do it. But that makes sense because we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. No, they did all the testing. They did it. No, no, they but normally you would have. You would have extended testing yeah, to yeah. meet out the people that <coughs> affected. Yeah, by so stuff. what they what they would um, normally do. Okay. So what they would do was please bear with please bear with me with the props that I have. This is gonna be freaking hilarious. Just get, just bear with me, guys. Okay. I don't have much to work with. So what they would normally do is they would have a very first run, and yes, this is a bunny rabbit made of grass. Fuck you guys. Um <laughs> they would have talking to you. Oh! <laughs> they would have their very first run of tests. Then, based off of those findings, they would then get their second run of tests. Based on those, they would then do this. Their testing would then go like that, and it followed yeah. a time, a really long timeline. What they did was for both of these, and now actually they've just released. Um, Australia just approved a third vaccine line. What they did instead yes, was, yeah. right, they lined up because they got the funds, they lined up all of the testing. Fuck this shit. And like a random hairbrush and a cookie. They lined up all of the testing. <laughs> all... <laughs> they lined up all the testing to run simultaneously. And they had extra people working on getting all of those side effects down. The only testing they cannot record results for is long-term side effects because mm, the time yeah, doesn't right. exist. Yeah. Yeah. So they they were able to get all like all of the categories of people, all of the different people, all the different um, mentally effect, like challenged people. The I am failing in English. Uh, pretty much any any different different disabilities, people people with lung diseases, people with cardiovascular illnesses, pregnant women, the the works, they were able to get everyone for their the correct testing lines. The problem, and the thing that is holding a lot of our generation back, is there is sweet FA evidence 
for long-term side effects because the time hasn't passed. That that time doesn't yeah. exist. The time to get those yeah. results does not exist yet. Which is why a lot of people are hesitant to get it. Not because they're all like, oh my God, I'm going to get 5G in my arm. Bitch, give me 5G. I might get better <laughs> fucking cell phone reception. Yeah. Okay. I'll have 5G. I'm cool with this. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking cool with this. Right? You're going to put a chip in my arm? Awesome. Make it freaking cheesy Supreme Doritos, please. <laughs> I don't care. If, the, don't if care. the nanobots, if the nanobots are going to be running around my body, they can at least do some other shit while they're sitting there dormant yeah. and don't know fuck all. They can fix my back and and make me live longer and shit. That's it. What? I got a shit sciatic nerve. Like fix that shit for yeah, me, okay? Fix that like, shit. Damn, damn. Well, this morning, but... I'm sorry. This morning, my wife, oh, she's okay. been trying to get tested because she's required to get tested <laughs> weekly in the school district here because she's unvaccinated. And the only reason why she's unvaccinated is just one of the things that Julie was saying is for her medical condition and the treatment that she's getting, they are not sure what dose and or how it will react with the treatments that she gets every three weeks. It's similar to like a sugar kitty. So um, their, her neurologist says she cannot get it right now until they get some more data. So being that she doesn't have it, the school district is requiring the unvaccinated teachers to go to these certain sites to yeah. get tested. She went twice yesterday and the line was so long when she went back after school to get in line, they says everybody that's in line won't be getting a test because they ran out. Yeah. Oh. They didn't have um, enough tests. So. Numbers. Mamba Zoa, you're literally talking about the side effects, those side effects specifically. Congratulations. Those are the identical side effects that I have had since having children. That is incredibly common side effects just from having kids. Those side effects are not scary. Mm -hmm. Those side effects mean sweet fuck all to those of us that actually have gone through traumatic births and our bodies are changed forever. But I think the main yeah, problem. Yeah, the, fact, the, the factory system getting fucked over by COVID is a pretty sucky one, though. That I was going to say, the biggest issue with COVID, with side effects, uh, mainly for our generation right now, are the people that are dying of ran like the healthy people that are having heart attacks. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, what? what and they they're able to actually say no. These people have died. It's a heart attack. It is a COVID-related heart attack. It's the Delta strain that's done it. But the and whole weird, like, the whole weird thing with this COVID vaccine thing is, you've got two different sides. You've got like the whack jobs that think you know they're going to inject a microchip and they're going to fucking control your mind and all that shit. But then you have can we kick them off the planet? Yeah, no. But then you have the um, kind of like the scientists or government people saying, "Oh, it's all fine. You know, no problems. Everything's perfect." And yet that's not true either. Like it's just that in between. Right. That's like the people here that um, in Western Australia, I see it on TikTok and I, I cringe every time. Every The moment one of these videos comes across my feed, I close TikTok for the day. I'm like, that's it. No more internet for me. Is when someone will post something about Mark McGowan and everyone in the comments is frothing about, about Daddy Mark and how Daddy Mark needs to be our new, pro, like, our new PM. And I'm like, just kill me. Kill me, kill me now. Because you're all a bunch of fucking sheep. Hey, did that happen that we know of? Like, it's, it makes me cringe so bad every time someone calls him Daddy Mark. But the nickname I am loving at the moment is for Gladys. Because of her obnoxious last name. And she's such a pacey ass, base suburban white bitch. They call her Gladys Butter Chicken. <laughs> and I cannot. I cannot with that right now. The funny thing about this vaccine, my son is actually studying biomedicine and he won't take the vaccine. <laughs> this is no way. Well, That's, what he's, like, um, That's what he's a, learning. Vaccines. A, same thing, Cliff. They had the actual guy who created the MRI technology for vaccines. Um, I think Dr. Malone, so, hmm. Dr. Malone. I like the what's name one better. And he <laughs> said, whatever you do, don't touch these ah. vaccines. Mm. Well, biomed which students is, are telling you not to weird, touch Which is weird, which is weird. Yeah, it yeah. is very strange. 
Oh, that's what I mean. Like the guy who created the MRI technology, which these vaccines are using, he's saying, whatever you do, do not fucking touch it. It's just weird. Like all these different, these different things people are saying. You got yeah, and you know, here's these the thing, people... though. He he invented that technology, but he has absolutely nothing to do. Yes, with I know. Vaccines, right? <laughs> like yeah, but I mean, he knows like the he does not know. Bio, yep. He yeah, knows how the biology know. in that works, and like oh, if you're saying, I mean, hang on, hang on, just wait. He's, he's saying like, you know, we shouldn't rush into it. Like, let's just explore it further before we put it out in the public. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll end the conversation with this. We're in this kind of debacle. I like on one that side. Is. You've yep. got a mutating fucking virus that's killing people left, right, and center. And then you've got this fucking vaccine, which, you know, half of the population is like, yeah, shove it in. And half of the population is like, oh, I don't know about that. It's like, you're damned if you fucking do and you're damned if you fucking don't. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's like, you've got all it's these from different people, all this just said. information. It's like, how do you make the right choice? So you've got complex just situation. These, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so my how, person, how do you make the right this will be the last thing. Personally, because it's, the virus isn't here, it's not fucking us up mm. but if i was in the situation now and we're 300 and plus cases new of south fucking wales popping up in new south wales i'd be lying up to get that fucking jab yeah you know if a 30 year old pe person's dying and other people are fucking mm. dying this variant is nasty af the you're still going to get infected you still can get reinfected but your mortality rate with the virus i mean the vaccine is dramatically reduced um we are lucky in remote western australia that we have the luxury that we can extend getting the vaccine because it's not on our doorstep really affecting us but if it and when it does come on our doorstep then we need to yeah. definitely jump on board and get vaccinated well i saw a video on facebook from 60 minutes and it was of a school teacher who was going no, old. I'm taking it either. Fuck the vaccine or COVID survival. The fit. simple, you die, you die. And that's yeah. like... Well, he's an eight-year-old boy <laughs> in hospital in New South Wales, and he tested positive for COVID. So him and his mum were in hospital in, uh, I don't know if they're out now, but they were in a small room in New South Wales in a hospital, and his mum tested positive as well. But this is an eight-year-old boy that has tested positive to it yeah they've tested people as young like uh my miss like my wife, yeah no i think so there was a yeah there was an under 12 month in city as well my yep. um yep. my wife yeah yeah my wife feedback back east in queensland her husband's um karate studio they were the correct one of the karate studios near injo that got pinged the instructor his wife and their three kids their three kids have it. Um, another person who went there and their wife and their three kids had it. Their three children were, I think there was two teenagers and a six year old. Yeah. And right they, and they've gotten it in Queensland. I mean, the so, best case scenario is you fucking get it. You get the couple of hours side effect where you feel like crap. You have a nap, you wake up, you're perfectly fucking fine. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, you're that's asymptomatic. Right. That would be okay. And you're mental. Yeah, if you're asymptomatic. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that would be the way to go. Yeah. If you're lucky enough. Yeah. Hmm. But that's it. But I'm, yeah, then you get other perfectly healthy people that are pretty much. Yeah, you've got to be. Almost. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be anyway. so careful where I get my information to because it's like, unfortunately, some of the information that I get from people that are actually doctors are like, yeah, you can get it. And I'm like, unfortunately, Simon, with the information you have from the MRI technician, um, creator, and designer, he's not an immunization specialist. He may understand how the human body and shit works, but he's not an immunization specialist. He's not a pandemic specialist. I do not trust his information because he hasn't done the peer reviewed research. So I'm focusing on what is coming out of them. And I love well, yeah, seeing- an MRI is, an MRI is completely different than by- Exactly, by that's exactly happened. right. So it's like, I, if, if I ever need anything like that, I am gonna most definitely go to the guy who created the shit, yeah. But in this case, no, I'm going to be focused on, on the research that I'm able to get my hands on from the people who have spent their entire freaking adult education dealing with 
in immunology and dealing with the pandemic studies and all that sort of shit because they're the ones who know it. I have zero fucking clue what's going on. So I'm relying on their information because our media is so controlled. Yeah. yeah but yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like just you get so much information from all these different sources. That's it's why, like, that's why you like, got, who do you, have who to take do you trust? Yeah. Who do you, you have to take responsibility. Yeah. yeah. That's why you take responsibility and you're like, okay, well, this person studied this, that is irrelevant in this moment. You have to then find, you have to be a big boy and find the research. So that's how I was, because the, the media is not going to give it to you because they want you to just like be watching that 10, 11, 12 o'clock press conference and be listening to every word of the government. That's what they're doing. The yeah, basically. Yep. It's exactly. interesting to see if there's another variant next year. Yeah. Well, there's going to be, there's going to be, there's definitely going to be multiple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whether, whether, it, whether, it, whether, it, whether it is, it is variant variant of, the, of the, the, um, I can't remember the strain of the, what? Like, Delta strain. No, it's the strain of the, what's the name, flu? Um, what, third flu? No. Oh, influenza A. Influenza A, B. No. Sorry. Yeah, my friends. My yeah, friends, SARS. That's it. Yeah. Sorry, it's it's a SARS um, variant. Yeah, SARS. And that yeah. shit, that shit mutates. And they've been studying that for donkey's years. They've been yeah, they've been studying it for decades. Yeah. 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 Well, I well had... the Spanish the Spanish flu is still around, but uh, it, it, it did yeah. burn out, but it's still around, and we've probably built up herd immunity yeah. after all that yeah. time. Good day. Well, that, so, that killed a fucking shit out of people. But did Ooh, you yeah. guys hear about what happened in um, that in Canada? What's that? Um, oh, what's that state called? They actually got rid of all their um, restrictions. The, they call them provinces. Yeah, yeah. Um, which one? Hang on. It was medical seminar on a whiskey channel. Cheers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any any opinions and expressions of information from the Scotch Down Under Whiskey YouTube channel and or guest appearing on said channel? We are not experts and do not take any of the information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I emphasize that like two minutes ago. Yeah. I emphasize that. Okay. Yeah, I definitely that's, that's do. That's the disclaimer. That was yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just dribbling shit. Yep. Yeah. Hey, but that's why it's a pub. That's what we do. We just drink and drink. Yeah, and that's shit. right. It's a pub. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Dribbling um, shit. Well, I watched my friends. They're now seven and a half when they were five. I watched two little girls go from Good being day. energetic little girls to lying on a couch and Just losing a good kilo morning and good evening cocker from influenza A. This is some deep and shit for I whiskey got chew. Criticized because I was around them, and so was our son, but we didn't get it. And I got busted because I was helping their mum trying to do stuff for those two girls. But watching two little five-year-old girls go from being lively and everything to being lethargic and just sleeping all the time, it's not nice. It's most definitely not. And mm. they couldn't even eat a, just a tiny square of toast. Couldn't even get, keep, wouldn't even eat that. So, yeah. Right, drink that. I'm going to try this one next. Neck water. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's on the floor. That's yeah. what I prepared earlier. <laughs> Bourbon, yeah, the fact that this in deep shit. Okay. Something I think that a lot of the whiskey community seem to forget is when you have a platform like this, you don't just talk about whiskey. The fact that this is what is called the Munted Pub, you're literally talking about the same sort of shit you would be talking about if you were actually physically meeting up with your friends at the pub. Yeah, and I'll exactly, tell you yeah. now, I would be talking, I would and be what? having beer. I'd be having beers or whiskey. Yeah. And I would definitely, if I went out and I went out for drinks with Carly, you bet your ass we would be bitching about the fucking stupidity in Sydney, the bullshit happening yep. down in fucking Melbourne and how Sydney have not learned from Melbourne screw ups and then they're you know, <laughs> fixing their own problems. Uh -huh. And then, then you bet your ass we'd be then ripping on politicians. Yeah. We'd have some drinks and shit in the middle, probably hit on a bartender or two, and then we get back to talking about whatever the fuck we wanted. Oh, you forgot we oh, got yeah. you forgot you gotta talk about the normal shit like the weather oh, and crap. Yeah. 
Every oh, yeah, like, we better yeah. husbands. And okay, the football. We, 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 we will bitch about our husbands. Oh. For me, it'd be five our life. We, oh, my God. I would definitely be freaking raging about the footy. And then we'd also probably sulk hey. about the fucking Olympics and all of the hey. memes that came from then. Like, just because this is the Monty Pup and it is technically a whiskey tube doesn't mean that the platform is not open to discussions yeah. that we would normally be having in our everyday Well, the life. description of the channel of, says... The channel... It's a virtual the, the description of this episode is <laughs> Channel is ends full up thinking full in full pub, and you look down the bottom and it says let's get and drams and dribble. Dribble. Yeah. Drams and dribble. And that's so annoying. Dribble. We're dribbling shit. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hit the big button? Have you had many well, Lego people on? Lego supporters when you've been button. having your whiskey can? Yeah, there's a few there's lots of Lego supporters. What's the button? A lot of fans uh, coming on. Fiber. Lego fans. Yeah. Puke Fiver. Mm -hmm. Puke Fiver. It is puke, isn't it? Uh -huh. Bauer Just said oh, so, okay. Sayeth, the tallest hobbit in the world. The <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not actually the tallest hobbit in the world, but I am the maximum height. I am the maximum height of, a, of a, 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 an allowed yeah. hobbit in on the set of hobbits in New uh. Zealand. Okay, I'm not the tallest because that bar had to be set by uh. somebody else. Pardon me. That bar had to be set by an actual employed human being on the set. So I am right. not no, the tallest. I am not the tallest hobbit. <laughs> I still have to climb shelf the shelves in my pantry to reach stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not nice. joking. I do. I went to climb something the other day and Deborah was like, there's a stool like right over there. I was like, yeah, but it's over there. He's like, just go get it. I was like, but it's over there. I'm just going to climb the shelf instead. <laughs> Love it. Try that one. That's so much thinner after coming off obtaining. <laughs> I don't want to try it now since you told me it's got port in it. It's mild. Try it. Oh, yeah. You went to, if you went to, you went to that 90 yeah yeah exactly that's that um woodenville right the woodenville port finish yeah exactly once you hit that obtain and you work your way down you got to ease into 90 and 80 proof because it's like water <laughs> oh yeah it's like it's like i'm just meeting myself hang on guys. aren't you supposed to start the other way around with the lower AB i know but he go, said i want to go you know, <laughs> serious shit and we're like okay yeah, jump right in <laughs> Oh, well, ah. next next step is the green fairy. You got to get that out. That'll <laughs> that'll knock you around green even more. Absinthe. Absinthe. Haven't you got absinthe. lime I burners? I don't have any absinthe. Yes, I've got lime burners at sixty eight point sixty nine. What is it? Sixty. Yeah, I was looking at sixty. Yeah. 80, 80. Try, just try that. Pretty high. Not that one. I was looking That's at your that. video. Oh, I wanted to buy that Simon, the line burners too, but I've just armed um, and I said I'll go with this other one. Ow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's good line burners. Yeah. Right on and the nerve. Really get into these Aussie whiskies. See what they're like being a new whiskey drinker. <laughs> yeah. And then I can get into what I kind of know a lot about is beer in summer again. Oh, That's yeah. speeds up. Yeah. Yeah. Might start, that one. Might start beer, brewing again. I, I just had a um, stout beer just before. I oh, thought, yeah. stout beer. Mm, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Mm. I'll get my stone and wood Pacific Ale. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Yep. Oh, it's not bad. Hobbit who towers over mountains. What? Sorry, I had a quick phone right. call. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so hi. Hi. Hobbit it's who fine. drinks is like 22 centimeters taller than Whiskey Mountain. It's the Hobbit who. What's a Whiskey Mountain? That's another Adriana? YouTube channel. <laughs> who is it? Oh, oh. Yeah, Adrian. Yeah. Our How, okay, does, oh, I mean, oh, our, okay. our chief science officer. Does anyone ha actually have her height? Uh, I think she's uh, like. 
Jeez. Does anyone have Jeez. her height in centimeters? Mm, I don't think we have it in centimeters, I'm thinking. Hold on. Because she did say it about, one time. When yeah, you talk about feet and inches, it can vary, give or take one or two centimeters on each end. She's about, oh, she's about oh, four foot nine and three quarters, so you're looking at about a hundred and... Four foot nine and three quarters? Are you so, kidding? So a hundred and no. under 150 centimeters. She's about 145 centimeters. Oh, so that's she's adorable. A foot, she's a foot shorter than me. That's adorable. Stop it! <laughs> Leave me alone! Hold on. Oh my god. I gotta... Okay, um. Do you for anyone who actually. Like, Ow! <laughs> for people who aren't aware, like, um, my reaction my reaction for things like that is actually, it's legit genuine and it's with, uh, it's dose and laser. Yes, I'm gonna. Track. <laughs> it's laced with attraction because I'm physically more attracted to girls and short girls are really hard to come by out here. Short girls that are, are like cutesy. <laughs> the short girls out here are just fucking angry well, because that's... we're sh we're so short and we get treated <laughs> like it. So we're just mad all the time. Well, that's why we have clockers. <laughs> They're nice and short. Okay, hang on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, so, that's for you, Durbin. <laughs> that a hobbit is so much taller than a mountain. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. Thank you, Bevan, for explaining that. Sorry, so she's... Um, Bevan, did you do the conversion for me? Can you get, like, an exact conversion for me? Yeah. It'll be just under 150 centimetres. Hmm. Puke fiver. <clears throat> Puke fiver. What does it do for? No, it's pig well, fiver. I think I'm going to have to head off and go to bed now. I've got to get up to work it's in the morning. It's about 147. Oh. Good day. Oh, oh, good. Have a good night, right, everyone, and uh, enjoy Bye. yourselves. Rest of, rest of screen by Just Cheers, said Cliff. Cheers, mate. Cliff. Take care. Bye. 147 centimetres. Okay. 9.75, um, 146.69. Okay. I am... 149.35. I am 17 centimetres taller than her. Yeah. Well, I'm five foot seven and a half. You're taller than me. <laughs> She's taller than me. So I'm 172, I'm 172 centimetres tall. 172. Oh, yeah. I'm, one, I'm 173, That's, 173. So you're oh. eight. Just, you're eight centimetres. Like, sorry, 172? Yep. Yeah, you're seven. Carly's like an, an inch taller than me. Yeah. So I'm five foot seven and a half. Yeah, he's a short ass. Yep. Oh yeah, he's a short ass. And when you put those You're, high he's heels, still, in... he's still taller than me, though. So yeah, he doesn't yeah. like gonna wear high heels because um. I feel like a midget. Viewer small. Switching to David, small viewer. <laughs> viewer small. I'm exactly 160 centimeters. I'm four centimeters taller than you, Sugar Kitty. Oh God, I'm like 13 centimeters I'm taller. Only... I'm only 178 centimeters tall. Uh, yeah. Sugar him. kitty. Him. Is that him? Is it? Yeah, sugar. Yes. Sugar kitty. Sugar kitty is a him. Sugar kitty's account name is based after his cat because he's a fucking weirdo and he likes. Yeah. <laughs> Glee, but the master distillers reserve. If so, what were your thoughts? Uh, that's a negatory. Ew. The Master Distillers Reserve. I have it. I have it. And I like yep. it. Glenn and I have already butted heads about this before. He hates it. I like it. He made fun of me then. And I didn't care. He's no, I haven't had now. the Master Distillers Reserve. I thought you said you had it when I pulled it out. And you were like, yeah, I hate it. No, the Founders Reserve I don't like. 
Not mask. Your mic stopped. Is it what? is it such thing as masters? You sure it's not? Is it founders reserve? reserve? It might yeah. be me. Why can't I hear anything? <laughs> Hang on. Peak four. Peak four. See? It works when it's four, but it's not on five. Are we talking Glenn Levitt Founders Reserve? Yeah. What is that Masters Distillery Reserve? I've never heard of a Masters Distillery Reserve. Me either, but it, it piqued my curiosity. Hmm. Googling. Because the Founders Reserve is what they bought out after they discontinued the 12 year. And they've still got it out. Mm -hmm. I need to get rid of it because it's shit. <laughs> exactly. Masters. No. What is the Masters Reserve? Hmm. Yeah, all that shit. Master's Distillery Reserve. There we go. I don't know what happened. Triple cast. My headset How much is it? Not Ninety dollars. Ninety bucks. Mm -hmm. Master's Distillery Reserve. Oh, never heard of it. That's Sounds a one liter bottle. Uh, is it a oh, travel, travel or retail or something? Vinci Direct. Oh, that's a Vinci. I'm going to do an 82 for Bourbon Bowl. Bourbon Bowl, you tower over me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's Qantas. Quantum, it's a travel retail. Oh, then I must yeah. be thinking of a different one if that's a travel only retail. All right, got to drain my lizard. Be back in a sec. And change your shirt. Change your shirt. He's and you know what? When I came back, just out of solidarity for Simon, and nobody noticed, I changed the shirt. I think no one would have noticed that you changed your shirt because no. we don't expect you to do so. Correct. Correct. Right. But that I was, just did it. That was very well, well played. Well played. Peak four. Why? I wonder why I'm. I'm just noticed the two. I'm starting to pixelate. That's right. That's my, I, I, I can. I can. Oh no! I, I know what you've been much. doing, and I've been looking at my uh, speeds, and uh, you know, I'm I'm uploading at at twelve thirteen hundred. Download is is three fifty four fifty. So I got a lot of speed, but again, it's got to travel a long distance. Uh, it could be anything. I mean, it could be the codec. I, mean, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, Masters Dis Reserve. The Glenlivet. Yeah, Lillette. the Glenlivet Founders Reserve, by the way, is um really really good, but it's not uncommon to get. What's that? Like <laughs> Moist. The Glenlivet Founders <laughs> Reserve. I've had a couple of bottles of that. I, I think I might have a bottle in my pantry, like in my walking. Hmm. Uh, I, I, no, I, I don't have one. I don't have one. I finished it like two months ago. That's not hard to get, the Glenlivet Founders Reserve. Did you put a straw in a bottle to uh, get literally the last drops out? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, no. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> no, um, our very first bottle that we got was for David's birthday a few years ago. Um, and then we bought, uh, we bought two bottles, I think, since. And I bought one when I moved over here because I knew it's a good drink. Like, it's really, really enjoyable. Well, 15 um, kilos of muscle mass. You're what, sorry? Um, Somebody lost 15 kilos of muscle mass, got the Delta variant. He's a Victorian teacher and he lost 15 kilos of muscle mass. Okay. From the Delta virus. Yeah, he's fucked up in hospital with it. Yep. Oh, shit. Mm, couldn't breathe, yeah. Yep, he's urging people to get vaccinated. Mm. Wow. That's a lot of bugger. Yeah, not fun. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! 
He on the phone. Oh. Just... Viewer cropped. Switching to cropped viewer. <laughs> Saw that. Sam's not here. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I can't even blame Simon for being an antagonist. No. Nah. That was all you. So, I spent like two hours adding all those 25 categories into the spinny wheel thing and it doesn't fucking work. Because it's you. No, it's because it's YouTube. Totally agree, Ben Boller. Yeah. Fuck COVID and fuck cancer. I agree with that one. Big time. Especially the second one. Both of them. Hey, both of them suck balls. Yep. I like to piss off um, extremely religious people because I take the cancer thing one little step further and then I make them feel really, really, really uncomfortable by asking them a dark as fuck question. Nice. I remember that year they stuck that letter in the letter box when we were living next door to mum and dad. For what? Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm, I got a handwritten letter yeah. by Jehovah's Witness person. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny. My mum, because we used to live next door to my mum, she actually wrote on it and sent it back. Please take number ten where they are, where we were, off your um, my off your list, and have a very, have a very merry Christmas and sent it back to them. <laughs> I see, because we were moving here. I got mine in December, and we were moving here in the January. I did one better because my sister lives in our house at the moment and she's looking after the house for us. And um, so I did one better. <laughs> I wrote a note and because they give you the like return address and shit. I wrote yeah. a note and I actually <laughs> nice mailed. Call. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I wrote a note yep. and I mailed it with a fucking stamp to this person because I was like, I'm a pay for this shit. <laughs> And I mailed her a response letting her know that her um, her letter and the intent behind her letter was used in a sacrifice and I thanked her for her um, for her energies to my demon Satan Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So hopefully, hopefully, I didn't mention that I was moving, so hopefully I have been able to save my little sister from any Jehovah's Witnesses coming to my house. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, they don't. <laughs> My mum and dad, I think it's up. They've got a, a friend of ours made a sign for them years ago. And it's got sales service religious people. Do not bother knocking. And that's passed on their front door. I love it. I love it so much. And it works. Hey, right, Jim. It works. No, I will not Donald be spending Grant. the next two days fixing that because I can't fix it because the trigger only works for Twitch. Doesn't work for YouTube. So don't fuck all I can do about it. Hello, Donald. Man. Canadian, hello, hello. Morning, folks. Cheers. Um, but yeah, like, yeah. I just got so sick and tired of it because when I, whenever I would have them like come knocking on my door, I'd be like, no, I'm sorry, like I'm a pagan, and they're like, oh, well, what, 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 what do you mean by you're a pagan? I'm like, I'm an eleventh generation sicilian witch like oh well do, do you even know anything about our religion Rara? and i was like yes you're a cult i'm good <laughs> i'm already a card carrying member of a cult i don't need to be a member of two you're asking me for way too much commitment that i'm ready to handle <laughs> like no, I, I, i'd say no i'm in whiskey tube <laughs> no it wasn't it's no i'll be that. like You're such oh, a pretty oh, guy. Nice. Have you heard of our Lord and Saviour, Ardbeg? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew that's how you were going with this. <laughs> it's one of those moments and of... this is what i got to deal with. Yeah, it's one of those moments of if you know, you know. <laughs> yep. Um, but that's it. I'm just like, no, I'm good. I'm a member of the Whiskey Club. I'm part of the Whiskey Tube community. I'm an 11th generation Sicilian witch. I got enough fucking, and I'm a mom and a five-pound wife. I got enough shit on my plate. I do not need Jehovah's Witness people being like, you have to do this and this and this and this and this for our religion. 
Fuck her, do it yourself. I'm busy. Yep. I'm yep. busy. Ah. I'm, a, I'm a busy little lady. This does yep. not just That's magically fine. fucking happen. This takes a moment, okay? Look, shit, bitch. Shit, bitch didn't change his shirt. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, he's he got a collar on. Got a collar? Oh, yeah. he did change. Good man. Good man. This is sneaky. <laughs> He just pushed so, the collar in and pulled it out. Yep. I'll I'll, I'll pay that. Oh, we got a dead mm. bottle, have we? Is that a bottle kill? No. Nah. nah. Bit too much. Kill a small. Bit too much. Bit too much. Small viewer. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Stop it, you. <laughs> don't encourage me, Carly. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it will. It will happen. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm out. What? Yeah. I'm out. Bye. I miss you. I miss you already. I'm sorry. Well, when you've had a kid that's not sleeping properly, it's not fun. It yeah, yeah, kids all chogged up at the moment. So it's. You want to watch that? No, I don't. I'll watch it later. It's hot. Yeah, it's... Kids all chogged up. It's hot. It's hot. Hot, hot, cho hot. hot chocolate or hot coffee? Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? So what yeah. I did, you'll, you'll actually be really, really proud of me, but then you'll be like, oh, why? You... That yeah, because. This is my, I was just about to make that point. I'll be like, you'll be really, really proud of what I did because it's, it's smart. I'm a mum. It's mm. a mum hack, really. Let's be honest. But you'll be like, what is that? You're using a decor one. Why is that not Tupperware? <laughs> 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 so this is my, my 12 hour thermos. And I actually know, like, I love it because I know it works. David made me um, yeah. coffee at three o'clock this morning before he left to drive to Newman. And I was still drinking the same cup of at like midday and it was still hot. Like it works. It's great. It works. So before oh, yeah. I sat down, I made it full of um, hot cocoa, but I didn't put any like milk or anything else with it. And then I got myself a milk bottle. <laughs> nice. And I've been, I've been making myself cups of cocoa this whole time. Cool. And it's a fucking <laughs> hot. Good <Good> day. <laughs> Mr. Well, I've shits. got hey, Adam. two right Tupperware hey, flasks. One's probably about this big, one's about that big. I can make a cup of coffee in that first thing in the morning. Night and it's still Just hot said Mr. at Whiskey two in the afternoon. Is lurking and oh, working nice. and twerking. That's nice. Yep. <laughs> and working and jerking and twerking. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, I'm out. Cheerio. Nice. Yeah. Bye, Johnny. Yeah, cheers, Yeah, mum's gone to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Toodles. Cat, oh, cat's little... lost without. Oh. Tell him, tell him where he sleeps. Yeah, he sleeps in between us, little turd. <laughs> yeah, my mum calls him contraception. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, I can have my chair back now. I can have my wheels. That's what I was doing last night. I was so lazy. I was like this. And then I wanted to get a bottle of whiskey. I was like, slide over here. <laughs> grab that one. And then I was like, slide over here. Grab this one. <laughs> See, I can't, I can't do that because I'm wearing, um, like, I'm wearing, I am wearing pants. I am wearing pants. <laughs> but they're, <laughs> they're khaki, like, denim booty shorts. That shit is not appropriate for YouTube. Nope. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm a, I was like, I'm gonna keep my legs down, down here. Actually, I'll keep I'll keep the cute half up here, and I'll keep the slut half down there. <laughs> keep it for backup. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, moustache. And it's a moustache, but I'm going to shave it for later. <laughs> yeah, shave it for later. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> 12 degrees, 13 kilometer winds, and 85%. Goodness. What are you laughing at, Jim? 
be specific. I've done like four stupid things in the last 20 seconds. <laughs> so spinny fucking wheel doesn't spin. Spinny wheel did spin at the beginning of this. I saw it spin. Yeah, only if I make it spin. Well, make it spin. But I can't make it spin. I have to go into Did he it not just menu. say it can spin if I make it spin? And then he has just said I can't make it spin. Fair I enough. can't make it spin. Look, <laughs> I type spin. Good day. It not Calypso. spin. Hey, Clipso. I make it spin, it not spin. Spin a bottle. <laughs> spin a bottle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I can do it manually, but it doesn't come up with this. Someone else type spin. <laughs> that was the slap. Yeah, no, that's okay. Like, if I say it, you can laugh at it. It's no problem. I have a no problem with that. That's why I asked you what exactly were you I'm laughing spun at. Spun out, I guess. Yeah, we're spun out. Someone type exclamation marks spun. Or spin. Hi, uh, me spin, and you spun, Spin. Hello, Calypso. And Who are it you? It does jack. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, Calypso, boss was in last night. I don't know who that person is. Boss? No, Calypso. My sister. Oh! Meine Schwester. How have you put up with him for so long? <laughs> well, she's down south. I'm up north. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, that's actually a fantastic point. Spin, spun, span. Yep, it's spin, spun, <laughs> span, something. Get me in it. Here, tell me. Here we go. Um, oh, yay. See, I can do it manually. Everyone can do it yep, manually. Yep, man was my dad. Yep. Blood knock. Blood knock. It's a blood knock. Sorry. That makes sense. Though. Like the distance between siblings, I get it. I am now four thousand seven hundred kilometers away from my siblings and my mother. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there is nothing we can do about that. It don't fucking work. Oh dear. But these work really well. Check this out. $25. Sorry for everyone wearing earphones. It's legit. Nah, that's fine. And mine are like, mine are crisp too. Well, put it this way. I felt the vibration through my chest. <laughs> oh, you would though. You're right there. I know. It's fucking loud. It's fucking loud. It is. It's fucking loud. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh, um, Simon, I, mm -hmm. my, um, my first mystery box order has been placed. I'm getting yeah, a, Jap a Jap really I'm getting a Japanese kawaii yeah. box. 35% new. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we'll see what, we'll see what comes in it. Oh, I'm definitely. going to, I'm going to jump on Cotton On, and they have a few mystery um, boxes as well, which is really weird. They've never done anything like that before. I'm going to order a few of them. But um, yeah, my PayPal paid for the Japanese one. So, and it's Kirby. I think September's box is Kirby themed. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so that would be really interesting. Yeah. I was kind of, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of hoping it would be like Pokemon or something. <laughs> oh, you feel the booms as well, Donald? But. <laughs> I'm yep. so excited. I mean, I felt that the whole table oh, vibrated, my chest vibrated. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, so I, I've gonna... actually increased the bass and added a bit of echo and reverb on it. So and now it's... I feel the booms at home too. I feel that booms. Nice. Donald, you're such an attention seeker. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm 100% joking. Um, Why is the video command not coming? I can't remember the name of it. What's the slap dance one? You're the one who wrote it. It's, oh, it's just fish. Well, likes to use the booms to keep his cat. <laughs> 
What Love did it. I just watch? <laughs> Monty Python, the fish lap dance. That explains it. <laughs> I'll just sit here in my non laughter bubble. And I didn't get a copyright stri uh, strike for that one. I got a yeah, copyright surprised, strike for yeah. the Star Trek one. And I got a copyright strike for the taunt, the Frenchman in Monty Python Holy Grail. All the others I don't get strikes for. Right. Again, I'm yeah, just going right. to sit here and be like, yeah, that was, hmm. that was funny. You still shouldn't have done me. No, I know. That was extremely uncool. Mm, that's not the holy shit. Right? <laughs> I need to do fix that because the sound's coming through that now. <laughs> um, but yeah, Simon, so what I'll do is at the beginning of every episode, I'm going to tinker with um, like memos or signage or whatever on the screen so that the box um, has been like whoever has like funded that box, it'll like pop up. Oh, I, can't nice. I, can't, I can't English and I'm the sober one. <laughs> oh that's the problem, you're sober. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're like, you're drinking cocoa, where's the bourbon? And I'm like, it's, yeah. in, the where's the it's in the pantry. Go get it. It's so far away and I'm wearing slack shorts. Just turn the camera off and go get it. <laughs> Stop giving me more credit for energy than I actually have. I'm really lazy today. Do you have wheels? Just use wheels. I don't have wheels. No. <laughs> no, don't have wheels. Sorry. Gosh, now, 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 fixing it till it's broke. That's 2021. Till it's broke. <laughs> Fucking A. English is hard. Drunkenness is easier. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Yep. But if it helps to make up for my lack of drunkenness, okay. I have a bunny. Yeah. <laughs> it made of grass. It's made of grass. It grass. Grass. Oh, fake grass. Uh, it He's not fake. He has feelings. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, fisherman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ken's got a family yeah. reunion going on in here. Yep. He, he has more feelings than Ken's cat. <laughs> <laughs> My cat just sleeps. That's right. Donald's cat's a terrorist and does zoomies. <laughs> yeah, does. <laughs> Bourbon baller. I thought that was a joke of weed. That's, the, that's what I said. I said, is that smokable? <laughs> he made a joke earlier as I was holding it up and I was like. <laughs> it's like, is no, that a, a smokable not. variety? It's not. It's not. It's, it's just cool fake grass. It is pretty cool. That would have been and one it, hell of a chunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I have this one. Is that a quokka? No, it's a... No. You need a quokka one. No. I don't want to. You need a quokka one. I don't want to. Yeah, you do. I really do. Because I yeah, don't you like, have to... like you do. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> boss, you need to go back and watch this later because Sally, would... she just left. She's just gone to bed. But she was in here for a couple hours. I think you're splitting hairs now. Oh my god. <laughs> hairs with H A R E S? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that calls for a. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least that's still that's working, Jen. Oh my. Oh, yeah, that, this shit works. Well, the chat stuff works. So we just played the slap dance. Let's do. It was amusing. It was amusing. It's always amusing on the mounted pub. But before <laughs> we go back to the stage. Archer, I am not driving to Scotland with a kidnapped MI5 agent in the back just to visit a stupid distillery. It's not stupid, Lana. It's Glenn Gooley. It's stupid, Lana. 
<laughs> it's playing cool for the rest of the time. Is that Chocolata? You know it. No. You see the smile on her face? <laughs> Guilty. <Come on. laughs> Chocolata. Uh huh. And they didn't send you any, Simon. Oh, no, I, I don't eat chocolate. <laughs> what? Get out. Mm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to say. Dorman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't like candy or sweets or anything. I don't know why. This isn't candy or sweets. This is chocolate. That's Same right. Same thing. Sugary thing. No, no. Like sugary no, no. Things. It's actually essential. Dorman. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Thanks, Dorman. Never. <laughs> never. Never play poker. No, actually, here's a really, really, really interesting thing. I am very, very, very good at playing poker because I have um, the ability to mask because I'm a child of trauma and I worked at retail <laughs> for a very long time. This is happy me. I was not like this two minutes before streaming. This is a completely different personality. Like who I am right now is a completely different personality to who I will be the moment I hang up with the stream and get off the stream. Yeah. I am incredibly good at poker. I've earned a lot of money and a fuck ton of Oreos. <laughs> poker with people. Yeah. Trust me. You don't want to play poker with me. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I'm going to take all your money. I don't like it. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway. G'day, Cooler Running. Hey, Cooler Running. G'day. Cooler Running. Jeez, yeah, Cooler Running. Extreme heat warning, 100 degree heat wave coming. Where's that at? In, in Jersey, isn't he? No, he's in um, Seattle or Washington or something. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my god, Mike. <laughs> he got you on that one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. Ah, Washington. Oh, yeah, 100 degrees there. Oof. Yeah, that is a heat. I was going to say, 100 of Washington? Damn. No. That's definitely pit dripping. I mean, me and Anthony, hundred. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's it's uh gonna be what one oh four here in Vegas today. Oh, that's a cold day oh. for you, isn't it, Anthony? It is. Mm -hmm. It is exactly. So Thirty seven. That, that's a cold day. That's I'm a twenty eight. Twenty eight degrees right now. What time is it? Uh. Just after seven in the morning. Jeez, fuck! Not even I get that here. Mum, Mum Bazoa, you talk in Celsius. Yeah. You yeah. talk in Celsius, and you say, "Mate, who are you?" He he lives where I live. That does not answer my question. I didn't ask for his geographical location. <laughs> There's just like this mysterious Australian, and I'm like. However, I don't know this mysterious Australian. I wish to know who Because he's the first time he's been on here? Well, actually, oh. on Well, ah. I really, I like his sense of humor. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. No, he, he's yeah. got good, some good humor. I know. I just said that. You have to have no, a I'm sense of humor I'm, I'm to get this I'm reaffirming it. You're reiterating. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> It's Wednesday. You can't sit with me. It's Wednesday. You're not wearing pink. Fuck off. What's that? It, it's Wednesday and you're not wearing pink. Get out. Dorman. You're not wearing pink. It's Wednesday. On Wednesday, we buy pink. Pink? Do we? Yeah. Admit. Yep. On Wednesday, we wear pink. Get out. You can't sit with me. No, no comment. <laughs> I I bet I bet ten. Oh, Ken. <laughs> 
That's pink. His, his nipples are pink. <laughs> I bet. I bet ten dollars that there is Simon has a pink shirt in his fucking wardrobe. I'll probably do. Yeah, actually. probably. <laughs> <laughs> Mamba so uh, yeah. I'm I'm me. <laughs> I'm me. Yeah. I like it. I'm me. Cool running. Yeah. Do you ex just type exclamation point lurking? Yep. When you're just gonna lurk, type exclamation point lurking. Lurking. Yep. Yes. Do yes. it. Do it. Do, do it. the thingy. Do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I need a excellent. That's good. What's I don't that? think I've seen that one before. What one? Yeah. Here it is. Night bot. Just said Bourbon Neophyte is lurking and working a jerking a twerking. Yeah. Oh, no wonder we can't see your hands on the um, screen, Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate. Is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> My favorite thing about working in certain in some of the certain industries that I've worked in especially the one I am trained so far to work in is where people are like people, <coughs> men, <coughs> um, Oi. I'm just like, no, <laughs> this is backed by freaking real life <laughs> events. Motherfucker. <laughs> um, they're just, they'll be like, they'll be lost. And I'm like, do you need a hand? And it, they're like, yeah, no, I know more than you. I'm good. It's like, Okay, I will see you in ten minutes. My desk is over there. When you're lost, <laughs> when you're lost and you eat your pride, come and talk to me. Yep. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. And ten minutes later, they come in and I'm like, okay, cool, you're here now. Go get me a cupcake. Go <laughs> get me a cupcake. Go get me a cupcake. We'll talk when you get me a cupcake and you apologize. <laughs> yeah, I need cupcake and apology. I need a fucking cupcake to deal with this shit. It's like, if I'm going to sit here and, and do all of the freaking landscaping and all that sort of shit for your goddamn house, because you're an idiot. Are you ready? I want a cupcake. <laughs> a big one. That's the problem. Get new bottles, need new shelves. Then space to put the shelves. Exactly. And I'm working on that. Why do they say I find it so hard to ask for help? If you don't know, ask. No, see, here's the problem. They don't have fun at hard yeah. to ask for help. They have no problem asking for help from my former employer, who is a male lieutenant in the army. They have no problem asking for help from him. I am a five foot four woman. No one asks me for help. Really? Ever. I am not the kind of person that you would see and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go and ask her for help. No. Can, can I go back in time to a parallel universe when you had that problem and it, I'll just be there and when that happens, I'll just come up and punch him in the throat. Thank you. That's really sweet. Thanks. <laughs> what made it funny, it, it would always be so funny when people would come into our actual offices and they would treat me like the secretary. And I'm like, yeah. okay. And they'd go and speak to my employer and he'd be like, you yeah, know, you need to go see her. She's, she's the one designing your projects at the moment. She's got your tender. She's the one who's signing all of your tenders and she's the one dealing with all of the shit. Also, yeah, but she's just like your secretary, mm -hmm. right? Is that what you're no. telling me? What? She's the horticulturalist and the landscaper designing this shit. After like, you, they just said that, and then they reiterate that they think you're yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, no, no. I've even been on a work site with David, and I've been helping him work on a truck, and I'm coming, I'm like fucking filthy, and I've had a guy walk up, and he's like, he's the owner of this truck. He's walked up. And he's looked at David and he goes, oh, is this your new secretary, is it? The fuck? Sorry, cut what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm covered I'm, in grease. So I'm, I'm, I'm got tools what? and on the fucking truck. Do you see I'm, a desk with no I'm, tabs on the phone? <laughs> I'm the fucking what, bitch? <laughs> Are you fucking blind? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's it's just it's fucking the way some it's, people. It's the way. It's literally it's the way. Fucking it is. me. I hate stupid, and that's fucking stupid. Do you want to know what's stupid? People. Yes, but I accidentally fall into this category right at this moment. Um, you know how I was playing with the little mini grass bunnies? Yeah. You're splitting the hairs, yeah. <laughs> There's flakes of fake grass in my fucking cocoa. <laughs> extra protein and flavour. Yeah. If there was well, one or two of them, I'd drink it, but I'd counted like 14. Well, that too will pass. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It'll pass right through you. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> Y'all are disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and try and scoop them out because I still don't want to have to get up to get a new cup. That works great. better with a spoon. I don't have a spoon. No, you need to drink water. I guess that would involve getting up too, then. All right. You know, I'll yeah, it with. That's how I feel about ice in whiskey. The weed bunnies. Yep. You've been greased up. Oh my god. Yes, I have been. Oh. I actually, I have, um, I actually do have photos of me like covered in uh, engine grease and oil, wearing um, Simon Get Out. <laughs> you said get, it. get out, Simon. Yeah. Up, bring my best friend off, big Drew, the commentary <laughs> turn around, can I sit on? Oh, fucking hell. Mm. Hold on, let me pull some. All right, charge your glasses. I'm so sorry. I get it by saying, lest we forget, he was a veteran. Mm hmm. So, the big Drew, lest we forget. Fuck cancer. Lest we forget. Cheers, mate. I'm really sorry, mate. That sucks. All right, I'm going to pop off, take this dog for a walk. I must go to the store and get a few things this morning. So everyone take care. Julie, Simon, Ken, all in chat. Try not to work too hard today because I won't. <laughs> nope. Our day's over, so yeah. It Cheers, was a pleasure, everybody. A pleasure as always. Thank you. Here we go. See ya. See ya. I'm not going to be able to fish out all of this fucking grass. That's what I said. Don't worry about it. Just drink it. <laughs> I'm not going to drink it because it's plastic. Can you say grass instead of grass? Grass. 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 How do you say glass? No, I'm just being funny. Grass. No, I know. I know. And I'm not saying it. <laughs> is, this one of those, is this one of those moments it's like it's like hey julie why are you not australian this evening <laughs> is that one of those moments yep. yeah, yeah agreed um because david says that to me he's like whenever i speak to him if we've been I had a couple of days where we haven't actually had like an audio conversation he's like You've been talking to your Americans again. I'm like, how can you tell? And he's like, because you sound very American today. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. And he goes, where's your Australian? Where's that gone? I'm like, it's fucking hiding, you cunt. What do you want? He's like, oh, <laughs> there, he's like, there it is. There oh, it is. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you poked it. <laughs> there you go. Poke, poke, the Australian. Yeah, yeah. poke the Australian. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Poke the Australian with a stick. She'll, she'll, she'll show what she calls him eventually. <laughs> exactly. You'll, you'll get bitten. <laughs> but no, like, um, castle. Castle. <laughs> yeah, my grandfather. My grandfather used to say Newcastle. And I'm like, can you not? <laughs> castle. And he's like, it's Newcastle. I'm like, it's Newcastle. Castle. Castle. Newcastle. Castle. Newcastle. Castle. Castle. Australia. Not Castle. Australia. Castle, Australia. Castle, 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 Australia. Oh my Not Australia. 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 No, it's Australia. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Here's a question for you. What is the most, like to you, when you say it out loud, what is the most Australian sounding word you have in your vocabulary? Nah, nah, it's newy. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Yeah, cunt. That is pretty much <laughs> That's pretty Australian. Um, <sighs> what is the most Australian sounding word? When you say it out loud, you're like, oh my God, yeah, you know exactly where that person's from. Yeah, nah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's pretty strange. Um, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Quacker. <laughs> Quacker. <laughs> Mine is um, yeah. Wallaby. Wallaby, yeah, Wallaby is pretty iconically Australian. Wallaby. Though, yeah. Wallaby. Wallaby. Like, what yep. about kangaroo? And I'm like, because you can nah. overannounce it, you can overannounce a kangaroo to sound incredibly English. But um, Wallaby. Wallaby. You cannot make Wallaby sound any less fucking bogan than it actually is. Because <laughs> it's like, got the, the right consonants in there with the right en enunciation. It, comes, yep. it goes Wallaby. Wallaby. Yep. It comes Wallaby. Strong. Wallaby. Bloody wallaby, wallaby, mate. Oh, hang on, here <laughs> we go. Wallaby, mate. Hang on, mate. Let, Let me, me grab my pluggers. And we'll <laughs> make it <laughs> <and> take <laughs> a bottle over some grog and the sabo. <laughs> Hang on, mate. Let me grab me pluggers and went back and then we can tag the bottle over for some grog to start away, eh? Fucking eh. That's um, that's pretty bloody bogan right there, mate. <laughs> that's true blue. Uh, true blue. Uh, yeah, it's bloody true blue, right? Bush Bushhook. Bushhooks. Bush oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't ever um, hit a bush hook with your fucking you. You'll be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, another one for me is didgeridoo. 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 Di didgeridoo. Well, didgeridoo. Or, or, here's one. You ready? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. What are you doing to that tree trunk, Ken? That doesn't look natural. He's blowing it. He's blowing it. Back <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting rid of But yeah, my word, my word personally is a wallaby. Because whenever oh, I, I have had a few people, I have actually had a few people be like, you yeah, know, you're not Australian, you don't sound Australian. I'm like, <sighs> wallaby. Come over here. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, fucking hell, here we go. Uh, come over here, you daddy. Come, come touch the wallaby. <laughs> and they're like, oh my gosh, you are Australian. Oh, fuck off, kind. It all came with guts and mate. So we spent the over drinking some grog. Well, you did your doing private again. <laughs> 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 but um, no, I don't sound. Um, Tommy kangaroo like down. Sport. Tommy kangaroo down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't actually sound very Australian when I speak because I went through etiquette classes and uh, having ADHD, my vocal patterns mirror. A lot of the people that I surround myself by, it's a um, self-defense mechanism because I try subconsciously to belong. A lot of and, people do uh, it. I mean, I, I do it after a while. I'm just saying this is something that I've only just recently been made aware of. Um, oh. I over, yeah, I didn't know that it was a thing. Apparently the people that do That's it- That's why David says, Where, where's the Australian? <laughs> Turn into American. Yeah, he's like, oh, you're American. <laughs> and then you come you're out. American today. <laughs> Like, fuck you, can't. And then, then you poke, and then he pokes you, and then the Australian comes out and bites. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, he just needs to say, Julie, can we have some wallaby stew? <laughs> <laughs> wombat, wombat. The stew was made wombat. of wombat. Yeah, wombat. Yeah. Wombat. It's wombat stew. With a side of wallaby fries. A side of wallaby fries. Some mm. kangaroo steaks. No. Some I'm not actually. Steaks. You've made me. You've literally made me want to go to Coles tomorrow and pick up some roux. Hell yeah. I could really go with some kangaroo. I know I've got a lot of my iron. My iron is really low at the moment. So some kangaroo would be really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Coles do those marinated kangaroo steaks too. Oh yeah, they're good. Yeah, Ooh. I've had them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The garlic Ooh. and red wine ones. With a bit of, like, just, I just added, cause I have rosemary growing outside. Uh, Kanga bangers. They do actually do those, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I've got yeah. rosemary going outside, so I just crack some fresh Himalayan rock salt. I grate some of the rock salt. That oh, I've there you go. Today. That's what we'll do. Fresh we'll rosemary. do on Oktoberfest. We'll get what well, we'll get our brat first and cracker first and all, all the good spice first and everything. Uh -huh. And we'll get some yeah. ganga maggots. Sounds amazing. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm gonna get like cheeses and shit and fucking I. Fucking it, I, hurt. it actually hurts sometimes it hurts for me to do it to sound australian because i'm not used to it i'm so used to over enunciating my um over enunciating my vowels correctly i'm just i, I don't do it often wallaby quill wheaton quill <laughs> wheaton cool whip cool whip cool whip cool whip <laughs> here we go oh dear, oh dear. I'll tell a German sausage joke, but they're the worst. Ah, oh, the dad joke does that. Dad joke I, doesn't do that. I like this person. <laughs> Feels a little cool. Cool, mate. <laughs> Feels. I do not know who this. I literally have no idea who this person is. Like I still don't know. I like this person. This is a funny person. Yep, he's cool. I'm also assuming he's within our age bracket. Correct. Wow. All right, what to drink next? The main reason I'm assuming this is because of his use of emojis. Yes, he has, he has used term, a, couple of, a couple of emojis. His, his terminology suits. To me, for Australian, that's not how you spell Australian. To me, for no. Australian, Australian emojis. It would be Ghana instead of oh Goana. No, oh Goana. yeah, Goana. Yeah, bit of Goana. Goana. Bangara. Yeah, I was about to say Bangara. Bangara. That's the native term for mm -hmm. Goana space. Bit of Bangara. Yep. Bangara. I've always wanted to try Bangara. I ate Goana when I was about. Seven or eight, and my multicultural holiday back into Tacoma on the west coast. That was when I had crocodile and snake for the first time as well. I'd already had emu beforehand. Um, emu is nice. I, I don't go out of my way to have it. Crocodile it? though, yeah. Crocodile though, are you ready? I craved crocodile both of my pregnancies, and there was one teppanyaki over in Queensland at the Garden City that had crocodile on their menu. <laughs> I spent so much fucking money eating there because with Tiberius, I developed an allergy to pork in all forms. I couldn't yep. have pork bone broth. I couldn't have bacon. I couldn't have ham. I mean, I that makes sense. That makes nothing. sense. Pork is, can be pretty bad. I developed just a, like, I couldn't just, just couldn't have it at all. So crocodile is so good. And with my daughter, I developed an allergy to, to duck. Oh, I no eat, duck. I couldn't eat any duck. No and quite. it sucked. Um, thankfully, I can eat all of that now. I haven't had any lasting allergies, which is like, I'm really grateful for. Um, but yeah, I craved crocodile so badly. That's a hell of a thing to crave. I know, I know. I was lucky. My mum, when she was pregnant with me, craved cake and chocolate. <laughs> so I love my cake and my chocolate. <laughs> it was crocodile for me the whole way. Uh -uh. And that they like they knew me so well, and they like they would always be like in the early stages when I was still flat, and I was letting them know I was pregnant with Tiberius. It was great. Like by the end of it. They would get me my crocodile, but then they would change the dish and I would let them do whatever they wanted with it. When And then I didn't go back for quite a while. And then I went back after a while and Tiberius was a baby and he was in the stroller. And I went back in and I asked for a crocodile. And the chef who I recognized, he looked at me and he's like, you have a baby. And I'm like, yeah, I have a baby. And he goes, you pregnant again? <laughs> I was like, actually, yes, I am. I am two months pregnant. He goes, okay, I got you. I got you. 
And then I, I finished eating. I was like, okay, thank you very much. He goes, okay, I see you next week. <laughs> Louisiana. They make alligator. And I can't even pronounce that. And Andoli. Andoli. Andal, Andal, Andal. If that's about the same as Crocky, it would be fantastic. Mm. Alligator, I've been told, is quite similar. It's a little bit leaner. Mm. I make a really, really, really good turtle gumbo, but I can't, it's really hard to get turtle out here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> need to know mm. something. I love turtle gumbo. It's so good, but I can't, I've been looking. I just can't get turtle out here. And it's oh, good amazing. luck with that. <laughs> I know that's yeah, why you I need, was just you saying. Need you need to know some traditional Indigenous, items. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, and I don't want to, I don't want to step on any of the traditions of the native people out here. So I was like, I'm just going to only ever make it over east, where I know the butchers and I can get it from, and that way I'm not invading their culture if that's a thing here, and I'm not um, trespassing on their land or anything like that. I, I never want to offend anyone like that you have to show oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah make a um, um, crocodile um gumbo and it's not the same because the crocodile almost goes fish like when you put it in a stew oh fair enough yeah it flakes so you gotta be really 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 careful oh crap Okra. Okra. I haven't I haven't really eaten much of it, so I don't really know how I do it. Clipso. Cheerio. It was lovely yeah, to you. meet you, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really really know on the okra. My grandmother made it for me when I was little. Um, but I don't have a memory of if I liked it or not. That memory is just it's just non existent. But I do remember her making it. That's about it. I'm still sulking Wallaby. about my cup. Did you just say wallaby? Wallaby. 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 Wall, like wally. 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 <laughs> I love Eve when she says his name for the first time. She's like, name? And he's like, Wally. <laughs> and she's like, Wow. I just love how she said it because she's like, Wally. And he he's like, Aw. And I'm like, Eve, you're a whore. <laughs> 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 Who the hell says a gentleman's first name like Wally? <laughs> Wally. <laughs> Who does that? Eve? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you little attention seeking slut. <laughs> But I've watched Wally that many times in the last couple of three weeks. It's not funny. My ringtone <laughs> is now Wally noises on my phone. Oh, nice. I've actually got a little figurine of Wally somewhere. <laughs> I like it. Who says that apparently? <laughs> oh, have you seen the Pixar short Bernie? Uh, which one's Bernie? Is that a recent the one? Oh, my Lord. Okay, uh, you can't make gumbo without the okra. It's what gives it its consistency. No, I don't use it. I don't use it. So I don't know what that's supposed to do, but I don't use it. Yeah, exactly. Eve, apparently. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Also, Let's please, remember, I'm, please I'm remember, a... I'm Australian, so some of the recipes that we have are going to be bastardised. Because of what we have readily available in our backyard. No, we're Australian. We're Australian. We're not we're not Australian. We're Australian. <laughs> okay, I'm politely asking for y'all to what? not judge me based on these fucking yogos. <laughs> this is pointing at Ken, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Flashing headlights. <laughs> um, but yeah, being Australian, we've picked up a lot of recipes and we've had to shift them around based on. Stop it! Oh my god! Stop! Stop it! S T A P. It's not even S T O P anymore. It's S T A P H. Stop! <laughs> Fucking Thank stop! You. 
Australia. Australia. Am I actually going to be allowed to finish saying this without you two pissing yourselves laughing like little schoolgirls? All right, I'll zip it. We take everything yep. and make it Aussie in one way or another. Fucking A. We kind of do, yes. Yes. Yep. I've found a way to Australianize Gnocchi Terrazino, which that's that should be illegal, by the way. But I've still found a way to do it. Like, cool. it's all based it's all based on what we have available to us. We are literally in the middle of fucking nowhere on this planet. We have had to we've had to change recipes along the way, and my gumbo does not yep. have that. Also, I don't know my gumbo means okra. If you make it without the okra, it will. Probably just be called jambalaya. Well, it probably would be. And when I'm I say sorry. Okra, I, I just think okra. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it probably would be called jambalaya. But the recipe I have is for a gumbo and it doesn't have it in it. And that's okay. I get that that's what it means, but I literally just explained to you the reason why mine doesn't have it in it. That's a stray of a stray. Is a is a gumbo jumbo jumbo junior. Jumbo jumbo. Speaking of <laughs> jumbo junior, jumbo junior. Huh. Well, that, that's, a lot of that was a lot of people actually forget that Dumbo's name is not actually Dumbo. I had Craig a more. Oh, no, sorry, I had Craig Ag Alecky last night. I need. Mean, um. Ah, uh, my bottles are all away. Jumbo gumbo would be huge portions. I do have a big gumbo pot, actually. I have a big red one and a green one. Yeah. Where's my knock and do? Where's I the make my. And do? I make my peated Irish whiskey lamb stew in the green one. No, in the red one. Because I cook red meat based foods in the red one. And I keep cook white meat based food in the green one. Knock and do. That is a very, very sexy looking canister. <laughs> sure is. You should see what he does with it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't either. No. No. Close Anna. your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna. Okay. Bloody spine. I, I'm going to turn my camera for a moment because I need to go get another cup. <laughs> and no one needs to see my slut shorts. Not getting do. It's a Not really pretty one. It is. Good day. Tony Two Toes. Does he place it in his wheel pisman wallet? You know it, Tony. Yeah, that's the least, up. that's the least of it, Tony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I caught a bit too much then. What a shame. I'll just have to sit on that for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's a decent haul. It's a hard life. It is a hard life, mate. <laughs> Very hard life. Viewer cropped. Switching to cropped viewer. So I got my press shot today. I worked a bit more on my presentation. I've got my astronomy tour tomorrow night. Oh, nice. Yeah, the weather looks like it's actually going to be good. Right? Yeah, yeah, it should be. I mean, definitely going out to the wind farm. Oh, wind farm. Yeah, we're going out to the wind farm. 
So the peoples had to shoot the size. <laughs> so are these people locals or are they from out of state? Nah, I think most of them are locals. Okay. So it'll be one of the astrophotographers from Perth. Oh, yeah. myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, should be fun. How long do you stay? Um, we'll be there for a few hours, I think. It's about 40 minute, 45 minute drive to get there. Oh, yeah. It's out of town a bit. <laughs> Is it elevated in the... Uh, no, nah, it's nothing really elevated around here. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty flat. <laughs> um, you do go up a bit of a rise, but then you go down a little bit. I mean, it's, uh, it's a little bit elevated. But it's only like fucking, I don't know, 30 meters above sea level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So not, not really. Gee, I can't remember the exact altitude, but I'll have to have a look. <laughs> I'll have to crank up the old GPS. See what yeah. the other comes up with. It's been ages since I've actually taken a telescope out there and done a, a GPS reading. Because you need, you need to actually account for the altitude when you set up a telescope. Hmm. And are they going to be your first no. client in a while? <clears throat> no, this is a joint operation. Oh, joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my last two I did. When did I do the last one? Oh, on Friday, last Friday. That was my first one in a long time. I mean, I've had hardly any tours for almost you know, a year and a half. Because yeah, yeah. most of my clients were all Chinese. Well, yeah. they were. <laughs> so that kind of dried up. So, yeah, I'm paying for. For uh, registration fees and insurance and license and stuff for nothing, so yay! Okay. Yeah, I just got the renewal letter for my insurance. Yeah, another got a thousand bucks for public liability insurance and all that crap. <sighs> it's like, well, I don't want to pay it because I'm not using it. <laughs> Yeah. It's just this money gone. If it only takes one person. You know, if I get one tour, and one person something happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. pretty hard. And then even with the between COVID cyclones and crazy weather, it's been a bit of weird. Chris Tats. Oh, the past oh. years, sure has. G'day, Chris. <clears throat> Just walked in a home from a hell evening at work. It was like Ken evening for shit not working. Shattered in bed listening. No worries, man. I hear you. That's brutal. <laughs> cheers, Chris. Yeah, cheers, mate. Well, at least I know what the... The deal is with the chat I believe thing and then now the commands at work. But yeah, the, the spinny wheel I spent all that time on it was a waste of fucking time. It's obviously switch based. Which is always fucking the morning. But you can do the spinny wheel manually manually, can't you? No, it's like freaking ten steps to get to that. Oh really? Yeah, and I've got to get to the thing with stream elements. I've got to log into stream elements, go to the overlay section, go to my overlays, open my overlay, go to the the spinny wheel part, go to the settings, then find the the in the settings find the spinny manual, open that, and then click spin wheel. Wow. <laughs> it's just not fucking worth it. <laughs> Man, it should. If it was working for YouTube, mm. you literally just anybody could go exclamation point spin, and it would pop up and spin the wheel. Mm. And you could set that to 
you know, just people with modern status can do it, or only I can do it, or whatever. But yeah. It don't work, so whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Viewer, small. Switching to small viewer. Sounds like you should get some sort of coded shortcut working for it or something. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even the shortcut's not going to work because that's just going to trigger the the test, and that just comes up. Because the idea is when when you hit spin, it comes up with your name and then comes up with the result for you. Kind of deal. We need to buy a can an old chocolate wheel with pull out drink names. <laughs> now that would be cool. <laughs> hey Chris, I've been here since the start, but I buggered off to go and get a new cup and make more cocoa. And Did you get whiskey? And pour more whiskey in it. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I even got food. And you didn't get whiskey. Yeah. And she poured okay, whiskey just, in. I'm going to go grab some bourbon. Hang on. Fucking fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I need, I need to take this fucking... I need to swap my shirt out. This thing's fucking hot. I thought it would be really cold tonight, but it's actually... With all the lights and crap, it's actually quite cold. Oh, really? Simon, I can hear you breathing. Me. But you got me on the counter. <laughs> I wrote my tiny knob. No, oh, bitch. <laughs> it is a pretty t <laughs> The hobbit went there. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my tiny knob. Oh That's my right. god. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I did. I did. That is a, well, that is a tiny knob. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I have a tiny knob and I am not ashamed of it. <laughs> I am proud of my tiny knob. It's a hundred proof. It packs a punch. <laughs> hey, so, size doesn't matter. I'm not it's pulling a Simon. <laughs> oh, that's so small. I announced and that I was going to change my jumper. Off. I bet you could put that whole knob in your mouth. <laughs> that cool. So, hey, uh, hey, Tiny Toes, if you actually jump over to my channel and you view my last, uh, my last video, there's a PayPal there. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying I will put the Tiny Knob bottle in my mouth, but my PayPal is on my, uh, is on my page. And then the PayPal links to the tiny knob of OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, oh, where's Donald no. when I need him? Oh my god, I need to make a tal I need to make that Talisker reference, and you know exactly what I mean. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh. oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, what one what one is that Julie? Okay, so this is the um oh, okay, so I actually I know I have another little one in storage, but I don't think it's the same one. This is the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 50%. So this is a hundred proof. It's a small batch aged nine years. Oh, so the original. I have no idea. Hang Just on. the knob. Show the bottle on the camera. Just the tip. Just the tip. 100 proof. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There you go. Sorry. 
<laughs> I'm going back to Loki now. <laughs> okay. Good. I miss I miss you. <laughs> Bye, Jim. <laughs> um Tiny Toes has retracted his message. <laughs> oh, I saw Jim that. Toes. Just said my cunt loves those tiny knobs. Oh. <laughs> that bottle looks like my um, big knob. Yeah, but my tiny knob's cuter and people want to see it from me, not you. So shut up. <laughs> mine, Boom. Mine even thicker though. It's, I don't care. It's not, a, it's, it's not a flex when you do it. When, when the cute kitty cat the head wearing... Girl is holding a tiny knob. People want to see that. They don't want to see you holding a big knob. <laughs> fair enough. Fair Very enough. true. Yep, true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, hang on a second. Um, I, I'm, I'm just imagining Adriana, when she sees that tiny knob, she's just going to do a little <laughs> type squeal. Oh, she does make the most adorable noises. Yeah, I reckon. I, I reckon we need to make some funny noms. I c oh my god! Oh my god! I kind of want to like make her smaller and just keep her. <laughs> no one wants to see your fat knob. <laughs> uh, I'm so behind. Uh, a knob in storage. <laughs> yes, I sent emails for the request for invoices from FedEx customers this afternoon to the dispatch. Nice. Um. Yes, I do, Sugar Kitty. I have a knob in storage. I have a uh, I have a decent sized whiskey vault actually in storage. It's quite impressive. Not gonna lie. Um, Phrasing. Take <laughs> context. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, some context. I um, I told Tony Tutos that my PayPal is on my uh, is on my page, and so here's some context for you. The PayPal exists. The tiny knob exists. And he made a uh, comment involving the tiny knob in my mouth. There you go. There's some context. <laughs> There's some context for you. Enjoy that. Uh, no I'm comments, not no sorry. Comment. I, I am not sorry. <laughs> and no, I heard that and I saw that. <laughs> Her I knob heard is that in and a I saw that. No, no. One of my knobs is in a storage vault. <laughs> Let that sink in. I was commenting about the Adriana makes the cutest noises. She really does, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, actually, okay, yeah, yeah. I am dispatching four <laughs> knob picks and right from. Okay, what am I supposed to They're not little knobs, though. they're big knobs. <laughs> okay, okay, so, all right. So That's the reason why I grab... Too many knobs for you, Chris. There's <laughs> only knobs, no dickle. Anyway, <laughs> multiple knobs in the vault. Oh, this... <laughs> this is only fans. <laughs> anyway, um... Anywho, the reason, the reason why I grabbed it is because I'm not a big bourbon drinker, and it's not that I don't like bourbon. It's the fact that I haven't had anyone to help educate me in a non-biased way on bourbon. Because a lot of the people that I've spoken to about bourbon are just like, "Bourbon is the best. Bourbon is the best. Bourbon is the best." Bro, single malt scotch. Bro, you're such a snob. No, I like single malt scotch because I love the fucking flavor palette. Mm. I'm very specific about the single malt scotch I like, and I've tried a lot of different types. I know what I like because I spent a lot of years figuring that out. The well, Chris will bourbon, and point you in the right direction. Yeah, well, yeah. the bourbon people that I have spoken to, like personally, have just been so arrogant. And I would love to, happy to do that for you, Julie. Oh, that's so great. Thank you, Chris. I would love to have someone to, um, to talk me through some good starter bourbons and to explain to me like if I don't like them and I can be like okay this is what I don't like about it then I can know if that is normal and stop fucking bringing up the well off because then I start singing well, the I'm well saying my review of this is coming out on Friday so you can hear what okay. we think of this 
Oh, it's, it's, it's just purpose for me. No, I'm aware. I'm very aware. Um, but and we've done the Nog Creek. I mean, not the Nog Creek. Um, the Wild Turkey 101, Wild Turkey Rye. Yeah. Um, Fuck! What? I just cracked wax into my food. Ha! <laughs> I can't. You're doing really well. I just fucking putting, can't. He's putting splitting the hairs in your in your cocoa, and now you're putting wax in your food. Uh, the tiny knob did me dirty, guys. Just it adds is. to the flavour. My food is plenty flavourful. Fucking thank you very much. It doesn't need any extra bullshit. <laughs> now I just it. extra extra, extra waxy flavour. I'm very 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 like. Yeah, that's a good point. Shayla, Shayla Whiskey good. Central will definitely help you out. Mm. That's good. Should be great value for um. She'll even get you on, and you can go through some burdens. Awesome, thank you. That's really good. Uh, I work. I'm not sorry. Wax on. Well, that's actually got wax on that little knob. Why was Julie saying my name over and over again? I was saying your name over and over again because I have little knob. <laughs> but I'm saying that little knob's got wax on. It. I yes, it did. <laughs> like it had, it had a full like wax coating. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it had a cute little wax coating over the, over the little cap. Shall I even get you off of scotch? Give me a minute. Just <laughs> just, give me a minute. just give me a minute. I'm bisexual female leading. That's not fair to say. <laughs> because then I have to like do a full reboot. Because <laughs> then I'm just like, eh, just excuse me Is while I date more, more of a button than a knob? And then I'm in you to jail. The ding dish. That's how you end up in YouTube jail. This is exactly how that happens. Knob Creek Wax was invented by DOGs at dogs for sure. Why would, I don't know what that means. All Knob has a wax safe transfer. Safe transfer. <laughs> Not safe. But I'm surprised that the little knob has the wax on. I wouldn't expect that. It's not uh, a super. T it's not a super tight cap, so I'm not surprised. Like when you, tw <laughs> when you twist the cap, shut up, Simon. When you took it's it's really loose, like the cap doesn't. So I'm not so fucking hell, Simon. <laughs> I, I can't eat. Three. Oh no, I need protection. I cannot even with this fucking comment section right now. <laughs> Mute three. Zip it. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Fucker! All knobs need protection. Well, that is true. They do. I just didn't think the little knob would have it. It's typically the, mm -hmm. the little bottles only just have a screw pop. Oh, that is that's so sweet. Simon's broken. Looks like he needs a reboot. Yeah, he always needs a reboot. Um, hey Chris, is is knob? Is it supposed to be like really sweet? <laughs> Like maples. Is that the hundred proof? Hey, when when you're ready, Simon. When you're ready. Yeah, when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It smells like it's like woody and maple syrupy. Like, is that normal? It's not. It's not normal. <laughs> Have some small wood food and whistle pigs. It smells here. super sweet. Nutty. Oh, that might be what it is. It might be nutty, yeah. Sweet and nutty. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's really, like, oh my God. It's so sweet. I just need a little bit in my cocoa. I'm worried I'm going to ruin my cocoa. Do I just like take a, do I take a cap on its own before I put it in my cocoa or? Yeah, you want to try it. Neat. <laughs> it has the ABV on it. Is it too strong? Or... It's a 50. Yeah, it's 150. 
Yeah, but it's not hitting you in the face or anything. No, I licked the rim of the bottle and it seems okay. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking Jim. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. It tastes like burning, like sugar, like nutty burning sugar. I'm going to put it on pancakes. She licked the tip of the no her name is stick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I poured some into the cat and a little bit like went down the side and I don't waste bourbon or whiskey because I'm not a savage. Shut. Simon Maneuver. He just walked off. Like I drank it out of the cap and it's like it it's not enough to really I don't have the instant replay set up, but I could have I could set that up. I can hit a button and it'll just go back and do an instant replay thing. Like so the look, Twitch gamers do. So they can see me like the tip of the bottle again. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, what time should I post my latest attempt at content? Now, so we can watch it. Um, Whatever is optimal time for your time zone, man. That's when I'd be doing it. Cheech, perverts one and all. I know, Cheech. I know. Shut. Like eight o'clock your time, Ben? That'd be the best. Simon. Simon. Five o'clock, mm. eight o'clock. Shut. Now the Go rule doesn't yeah. apply when I have to get a bottle. Yeah, but I'm you sorry. didn't say anything. You, you just, just walked off. You up and left. You didn't say a word. You up and left. Yeah, you just walked off. We listen very carefully to you, even if we pretend we're not, dude. Just uh, so we can, like, catch you out on these moments. I'll change shirt, but not the jumper. Yeah, like, 8pm your time, Ben, because that's, you know, I mean, you got to think, when is optimal time back in the days when people used to watch TV and shit? Or when people finish dinner, they get on their social media, they look at YouTube or... Uh... Oh, dear. Whoop. Tony TJ's proud perv here. My browser just shut itself. Yes, Ben, you can schedule what time you want to release a post. And Jovi's in charge. No, she's not. No, she's not. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. No, no. No, that's too much responsibility. I'm too inappropriate and childish. Please don't do that. That's a bad idea. That's a horrible idea. Like... Both of my brow the brows on that lap on that laptop just went bleh and the brows on this laptop just went bleh. Just completely shat it. Shat it good. Okay. So do I just drink it out of the bottle like a savage? That's not savage. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it actually kind of is for me. No, it's already in glass. You're making fun of how I say Australia. No, you can say Australia, but it's just not Australian. You need to say Australia. Australia. No, no A, no U, just Australia. S-T-R-A-Y-A, Australia. 
<laughs> okay, with your with your logic, um, Julie, you can bottle chug, but it's best enjoy it in. A, okay, I'll have to go on that one. True this. that. True that. Um, okay, your logic then with my accent. No, so I'm well. just falling the piss. I'm just no, I know, I know, I know. But this is my point. Australia, Australia. That was weird. Yeah. What? Yeah. Just. Yeah, that was really flash. weird. Yes. Um. So, Australia, minus the AU, Australia. It still sounds pretentious. I can't, I don't say it like you guys, because it sounds so obnoxious. What? Australia? Yeah, like... Australia. Australia. I have to, like, scrunch my nose. Like when I do it, my nose scrunches up like automatically and everything too. I feel dirty saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's better. It's really <laughs> not! <laughs> nah, hey, mate. Okay, uh, I would start you on the Woodford flavor wheel to try and sort you like and go from so there. you'd like to go and then from there. It helps you identify, identify what, flavor. what flavor you like. What is the Woodford flavor wheel? I don't know what that means. Mm. Woodford flavor wheel. Mm. I'm just gonna put some in my cocoa. <laughs> then there's the bottle, the end of the mobile land. You can stick it in a bottle, you can hold it in your hand. Fucking hell, stop. What the fuck is going on with the... I don't know, it's really weird. <clears throat> oh, unless it's Steve. Steve could be doing stuff, because this is the beta. He could be doing stuff. Ooh. I should have checked. Oh, here we go, we've got updates. He's done updates. Good day. Created a proof Whiskey of concept. Knows. Oh no, that's an old. Oh, here we go. But are those updates gonna fuck the thing up? No, he's doing updates to no. the back end. That's probably what it is. Oh. Good day, Marty. Hey, Marty. Create a proof of concept of been able to remotely control OBS via video. What they said. Because OBS to have the OBS web sockets plugin installed. Ooh. Once you have it set up, you can open this page and hit connect. The provided link is the remote control interface that works across firewalls by using Video Ninja's iframe API to transmit commands. And set up the list of available scenes, the active scene or to remotely change between scenes. Concept that spans on the basic website plug it and also across firewalls without needing to install anything. Blah blah blah. <coughs> hey Simon. Mm -hmm. When you go to Audi next, um, go to their coffee section, grab their hot chocolate. There is, it's, che it's cheap and nasty, but it's actually really, really good. Grab their box of hot chocolate packets and make up, um, make yourself like a mug of it with hot water and then milk and pour in maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 mil. It may be 10 mil of that. That's so good. So it's hot water and milk. You can make it just on milk. I normally make my cocoa on just milk, but it's faster to make it on hot water and milk. So how do you do, you do you, how much hot water to the milk? Um, chocolate powder in your cup. Mm -hmm. And so this is, this is just your average cup. Yep. It, just, it just looks bigger because it's insulated. So this is just your average mug size, right? So you put your powder in and then you do your regular like hot water and then you like a little bit of how you would normally make a coffee with your hot water and then your milk. So no, just okay. that. Yep, just that. And then add like a dash or two of the 100 proof. Ooh, nice. That is so good on like... I reckon that's going to be really, really good on like a rainy morning when you don't have to go to work. <laughs> that is really nice. 
Have you tried it on its own? Yeah, I tried, one. I tried it out of the cap and I was like, meh. 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 So then I, was, I asked the guys, so I was like, I'm supposed to like chug it out of the bottle now. <laughs> like, what do I do with this? Um, and yeah, that was really about it. Yeah, that's what I'm having. Same one you have. <laughs> mm. It's a good one. It's it's actually really good. Really I don't know how I feel about what I'm saying because I don't think I I don't think I had enough to really mm. tell. So you don't drink much bourbon, do you? No, I don't. I do have a little bit, but I don't drink a lot of it. I don't like wild turkey. I think wild turkey just tastes like fucking syrup. I don't like it. It's not nice. Which wild turkey have you had though? 101. Oh, you didn't like mm -hmm. it? I don't like it. It's so okay. sweet. It's like sickeningly sweet. Um, so I think that's because uh, the okay. cask, the um, bourbon uses virgin oak. Um, it does give that really caramel, you know, brown sugar right up front. Right. Yeah, big time. I, and and, well, melons, I like that. and and on top of that, you got, you know, the mash bill is predominantly corn. Yeah, which is yeah. sweet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I I wasn't a fan of. Um, I'm just a little bit frustrated. <laughs> uh, I wasn't a fan of Maker's Mark either, but I do really like their Maker's Mark Forty Six. But mm -hmm. I like that. I don't. I don't mind it neat. It's okay. But I will always go for a scotch. Always go for a scotch instead. Yeah, yeah. But I love the Maker's Mark Forty Six in Sanchuro's Spanish hot cocoa on the stove with milk. You pour the bourbon in while it's on the stove, so it gets nice and hot. Whipped cream, crush a flake on top. Oh my god, it's fucking heaven. Like, so that's how I, that's literally how I drink my bourbon. In yeah, cocoa. sweet, yeah. In cocoa. Because it's already so sweet. Mm, that's um, what I mean. I do have a larger. I picked up a bottle the other day, so I am going to try that. But I don't really, I know I've, I've been given a Woodford Reserve before, but I have no idea what it was because the idiot who was giving it to me, gave me fucking no information he was like he literally handed me a shot glass and was like try this and i was like what do i do with this because you just drink it so i just drank it <laughs> and i was like it fucking burns it's like it's like hot sugar it wasn't <laughs> I, I didn't like it at all um and then he put it in a glass he put another one in a glass full of ice and he's like okay now drink this and i was like again it was just watery sugar and he, well, he, yeah. he didn't, I didn't, I don't even know. And the problem is now I don't even know what that was. So I can't not buy that Woodford Reserve, but try a different one. Cause I know Woodford Reserve had, had this like amazing line, like, I'm like full thing going, mm. but I can't even try different ones because I don't want to waste my money. Cause I don't know what's what. But see, and, that's <sighs> a, that's the same problem. It's like people who are long-term bourbon drinkers. When they get to scotch, they're like, ooh, yuck, you know, because yeah. bourbon is, it is a really, you know, ultimately a really sweet drink. Like it's. Yeah. Well, that's it though. Like it's a really sweet drink. Mm. And people are like, yeah, it's great. Like after dinner and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. So is my classic laddie. So is my Solera. Mm. So is my double X. So is my bunny. Like. But that's the thing, if you're a long-term bourbon drinker and that's all you're ever drinking yeah. is this sweet drink and then so, suddenly you go to scotch, it's completely a different world and that's why. That is true. Yeah, like, that's why. I'll... My dessert, my favourite dessert whiskey is my, Del, is my Del Winnie. Aaron Hardiman. Mm. Just Hello, so Aaron. you know, just so you know, the chat here above me is not keeping up with the chat that's happening on YouTube. Yeah. Huh? The chat that's above me here in the corner is not keeping up with what I'm seeing on YouTube on my phone. Oh, maybe it needs a refresh. Yeah. Um, Kentucky Spirit or Rare Breed? 
I don't know what that what that is. Ah, uh, wild turkey. They're both wild turkey. What the hell just happened? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I just hit refresh. Hello, Aaron. Makers is weeded, so it should be sweet. Mm. Okay. I mean, I do like wild turkey, and I've got a Kentucky spirit, which is pretty good. Mm. But like okay. I said, if if you've only ever drinking scotch, and then you go to bourbon, it's going to be, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's, like... yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Um... And vice versa, if you've only Even ever drink, if you've only That's if you've only had, had um, Hang on. bourbon, and then you go to scotch, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, um, whiskey nose. Uh, I I know you've laughed at makers is weeded, so it should be sweet. I know you laugh at that, but that's my point. Like you you laugh and have a giggle. Mm. It's it's almost like an inside thing for you. But that's what I was saying. I have had no one to give me any information on bourbon and i've had to like figure that shit out all by myself and the few experiments with bourbon i have had i haven't enjoyed so i haven't looked further into those bourbons and why i didn't enjoy them i'm like i don't like this and i, I what is happening <laughs> i don't know it's <laughs> like we're in a nintendo game really it's, so <laughs> yeah so it's like Pyrus. I do have a bottle of Elijah Craig. I have the 94. So I'm going to try that. I might do that on my, on my stream. Oh, gonna get that. But I think it's That's more it. than that. I think it's because bourbon and they have to use virgin oak, which is full of the sugar yeah. and caramel. So it doesn't yeah. matter what type of bourbon, whether it's rye or bourbon. That is true. Yes, gonna... Chris, I know. I sulked about that so hard with Lilith. I was so fucking mad. So mad. Um, you might like rye as a better starting point, grain mash bill, or I kind of see. That might be a thing. I've had I have two, two rye. If I, I'm trying to remember what's in my bowl. I know I've got two ryes in there. And I liked both of those. I did like both of those. Um, one of them I really, really, really liked. And I watched Daniel and Rex try it. And they had it. And then they put a massive ice sphere in it. And then they tried it on us. And they were like, yeah. that's it. This is the only way to drink this. So then I put ice in it to try that. And they were spot on. Like, I absolutely loved that specific rye with ice. It was amazing so that was nice the two rice that i know i've had i've really enjoyed there's a few bourbon channels that i have found but i don't stick with them i can't watch them for too long because the personalities of the people are just fucking annoying like they're so punchy and obnoxious and kind of know it all -y. And I'm just like, except the fact that there are people that are watching you for the very first time. And they, they're just kind of, the ones that I have found just seem smug. But does he mean, um, is there YouTube channels like Bourbon as in they just open the pub and it's just a... Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't found anything. Yeah, Live Wire Whiskey. Yeah, Live Wire Whiskey. Anthony Nefoy. Whiskey Nose, um, Whiskey Nose was on here. Whiskey Nose, yep. and then um, Cheech, Whiskey on Call. Yep. Yeah, it's a bunch. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, eh? Well, it's working okay now. No, I've had to turn the stream elements off. It's all gone to shit. Oh, really? Fuck. Mm. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, there isn't gone. It's just gone white. I don't understand. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. 
I didn't say that here in Scotch Town under we still do drink bourbon. I mean, I'm drinking in a Knob Creek. Well, I started off with fucking Octonium mm. tonight. That was the first drink. <laughs> mm. I had the Octonium, then we went to the Uncut Unfiltered, then I had Doc Swinson's, and then I had Woodenville. Mm -hmm. There, I still did that. And my next episode coming out on Friday will be well, our special dessert. Yeah. I mean, before I even got into Scotch, I was into bourbon for a few years before that. That was my first. No, see, I've always been into Scotch, but well, I've always been into whiskey. I'll reference. I've always been into mm. whiskey. Yeah. But it's been low grade until about five years ago. And then I was like, I went from just like this little fucking plateau. I just went fucking jump. <laughs> and now I have my, I've got my own fucking vault with, I can't actually even tell you how many bottles are in there. I have my own vault. I have my own cataloging system. I have a ledger with all of my <laughs> transactions, with all of my transactions to, to and from all of it. Like, but there's not, I honestly think there's only two, maybe three bourbons in my whiskey ledger. That's it. Yeah, but I think some of it has to do with because Australia is really unfriendly to bourbon. I mean, we pretty much only get the basics and when we do get some of the good stuff, we're paying triple the price what they're paying for over there yeah mm -hmm. that's true or it's down proofed i mean we really get screwed over here in australia for bourbon yeah that's definitely gonna get it mm. it's just gone come out with a white screen and i click on screen on it that's right, Chris, you're lucky. <laughs> this is really nice. Taxes screw us. Yes, that is definitely true. That's what I mean. Oh, they ever. Mm. Oh, yeah, what is with the white screen, y'all? It's like a completely blank white screen. Okay. No overlay, yeah. It's all broken. Well, the main thing is we can all talk to each other still, so... Oh yeah, that's all good. <laughs> But yeah, I can see all the interfaces and all that have been wiped out. Mm. Yeah, probably on the lights. Yeah. All gone to shit. Then I've logged out, I've logged back in, I've refreshed it, I stopped it, I started it, I've done all the things, and it doesn't come out. All of the things. I've done all of the things. Mm. Actually, are you live tomorrow? Uh, it's Thursday. Uh, no. Mm. All right, I might yeah. go live to. I might go live tomorrow and um, try that Elijah Craig. And I'll cool. try this Knob Creek straight, like with an actual blue card. <laughs> all right. There you go, guys. I'll go live tomorrow around 8.30. So, same regular time as yeah, here. Yeah, I'll be working. Yep. Pardon? I'll be working. Oh, what you are too. You have your tour, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. What about Friday? Uh, the RSO Friday? Yeah, you do. 
because I might stream after this. Oh yeah. Oh no, I can't. I've got I've got the workshop Saturday morning. Yeah. What about Saturday? <laughs> this Saturday coming is Star Trek. Ah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I've got Star Trek. I've got to get the idiot video edited Friday night. I've got to organise everything for Star Trek. I haven't done any of the stuff for that. Mm. Yep, yeah, that one's completely broken. Alright, I might this just leave. Really well. I might just leave it until next week and I'll try it next week. Yeah. And we'll figure it out. Yep. Hmm. You still you shouldn't have drugged me. No, I know. That was extremely uncool. Mm, that's not though. Holy shit. Right? Glenn Gulley for the best of times. <laughs> That still works, because that's the other overlay. Does the fish still work? Fish lap will work, because that's all the pop-up commands. So, oh, cool. fish lap will work. That's good. Yeah. That's what the uh, overlay looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It broken did. Yeah. I don't know what the and I did see in Discord some people were talking about having a blank white screen on their um thingy. So yeah, that's not, popped that's, that's popped up a few times for us. We've seen that. No, that was me turning on. Oh, okay. No. Hmm. What's the subject for whiskey trick this week? Um. Yes, it was an absolute pleasure. If you do type in Hobby Food Drinks, you can jump over to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get notifications when um, I go live. The majority of my lives will uh, feature Ken, mainly because uh, we are part of the same whiskey club. We do a lot of the, we do get a lot of bottles that are the same. So some of our streams, we will just like jump on one or the other channel depending on who wants to host at the time to try something new. Um, so yeah, don't forget to, to jump across if you feel so inclined. No pressure. Yep, so uh, someone else is uh, on. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. White, green. Long delay. Is the there a pop-up pop for is there a pop-up for Julie's channel? No, no, we literally just have to like type it in. And I don't because I'm shit. Oh yes, yeah, so non-canical Star Trek stuff. Done. Good night all. Good night. It was really nice meeting you. Cheerio!
All right, I'll just paste it in the uh, Discord that I've got the white screen of death as well. Mm. Non-canonical Star War, uh, Star Trek works, books, fan works, except that are. Oh, that's right. We were going to talk about um, like the animation and all of that, weren't we? No, not the animated series because that's actually conical. Okay. But I haven't all the I... all the fan films, all the books, comics, any okay. of that stuff, novels. Yeah, I haven't really ventured um, off canon, so I might be useless here. Oh, yeah. well, we can introduce you to some really good. That'd be really. Th- I would. I stuff. would love some really good comics and shit like that, though. I would love some excellent recommendations for some good comic books and stuff. Um, well, I've been collecting all of the comics, so yeah, I can recommend some good ones. <laughs> yeah, I never really strayed off canon. I've gone off canon with a lot of things in my life, especially the MCU. And um, I'm still so salty about the Civil War. I'm so fucking mad about it. It's not funny. Um, Chris Tats just said Ken wants his Play Mobile Enterprise. Yeah, not for 900 bucks, I don't. um i can comment on books and the fan works to a degree yeah i think i'm actually going to be kind of useless here so i might just sit back pour myself a drink or two and just like just chill yeah but um i'm gonna get some um like the links and some pictures to stuff some of the the free the free fan okay I'm still like here. Renegades and... I'm still here. I have to turn my camera off because my slut shorts are digging into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Fuck! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a red mark like on my thighs. It's so sore. I think the animated series warrants inclusion, if only for the debate that surrounded it for oh years. God. Well, it's still Star Trek because it was written by the same writers and it was acted by the same actors, and it's still part of cbs made by them or paramount so it's still conical okay all good that was uncomfortable (laughs) and it's still included in their official star trek but yes we still need to touch on it for sure thank you sugar kitty for doing that for me by the way that's really appreciated Oh, cheers, Sugar Kitty. Yeah, I need I need to set up actually some commands. Yeah, I know Gene Eden disowned it, but he disowned a lot of stuff. He didn't even like ride the car. Oh, hmm. yep, completely white fucking. <laughs> Great. And essentially in canon with reference to this, but it's also subject to Yep. Yep. Alright, I shall be back. Gotta drain one of my lizards. Only one? (laughs) Oh my god. Oh my god, Ole. Oh my god, Ole. I'll pop up a link to the video description to cut and paste also works. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll do links and stuff. I'm sorry, Chris. I hope it doesn't wake her. <laughs> Little kid staring to the rave strobe session. <laughs> Lizard abuse. <laughs> All right. Night, Chris. Good. Cheers, mate. Night, night, Chris. I look forward to talking to you a little about that, but in the future. Yes, we can definitely do that. I like the bourbons. I like the scotches. I like the oranges. I like, I the, like the scotches. I like, I like the, the whiskies. No, I like the yeah. I like the whiskies, but I like the scotches. I like the scotches too. I like them all. I like them. 
No, I don't like all of the scotches. I like some of the scotches. A vast majority of the scotches. Not all of them. Uh, that's right, you don't like the Isla. No. No, due to a technicality, no. I don't like the majority of the Isla scotches. You don't like... The stereotypical Isla. Yes. I don't like... In inverted pe- commas. I don't like peated scars. That's what I meant. Yes. Yes. Will do. If you can have more than one knob... Oh, his internet must have died. God! Oh, there we go. Your internet died? Frozen. God! Technology's working really well today. Yeah, she gone now. Internet working really well. All right, Dorman, let in three. Dorman, let in three. No, you're three now. Dorman, let in three. Dorman, let three in. I've oh, got to use the right fucking command. Dorman, let three in. Welcome to the pub. Hey, Dorman, (sighs) you're not getting a tip from me because you're a wee bit of a cunt. Ken must fear what work will bring in the morning. Huh? Ken must fear what work will bring in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. Roy from Macarita. Be whiskey promiscuous. Yeah. I'm book promiscuous. Yeah. I'm a bookophile. Nothing wrong with that. I know. A few well, there's fun- some really good there's some really good trick novels for you to get then. That'd be really good. A few fun facts, um uh, yeah, just like some little random fun facts about me is like I'm a book junkie and I am a whore for caramel. Mm, yeah. Caramel is good. I love caramel so much. I I've been snacking. I've been snacking all day on old gold caramel. Yeah. I oh also another fun fact. I hate dark chocolate. I know you don't like it, but it's I good. hate it. I don't like it dark. I'm a cliche little white suburban bitch. I am that cliche, I am that cliche white suburban bitch that when I go and eat Indian, they know what I want before I even say hello because I radiate garlic naan and butter chicken. (laughs) Okay, I am that fucking cliche. Voice and video out of sync, delay kits getting longer and longer. Do a refresh, you kitty. Oh dear. That'll be a YouTube going guts up. Eh, this what stream is just not having it. This <laughs> fucks. <laughs> yeah, it's completely fucking broken. It's all fucked up. Simon's taken an awful long time. Yeah. Hmm. You still you shouldn't have drugged me. No, I know. That was extremely uncool. Mm, that's not, though. Holy shit. Right? Glenn Cope for the best of times. Who triggered that? That wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Bet you call me a cat wasn't me. Saw me banging on the sofa. Wasn't me. 
They even had her in the shower. Wasn't me. She stayed until it was over. Why would you do that though? Couple Why would you stay until it's over? I don't know. Why did she do Maybe that to herself? Couldn't let go. Couldn't let go. Bitch is tripping. <laughs> Bitch be tripping. She tripping. Bitch be tripping. But we all know why she stayed. She stayed so that she could like confront him, watch him deny it, and she, she'd be like, "Bitch, I literally have it on fucking film, and this is how I get everything." <laughs> That's why she stayed. No, no escaping the evidence these days. Really not. Okay, so I put some the. I put some bourbon in the bottom of my cup. Why are you up there now? Because you I dropped out. The overlord. <laughs> Let it be known that I am not a fan of the fact that Simon's above me. I can move, yeah. Yes, please. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> she was here first. I was here. I was waiting. I was chilling because I was labored. Yeah, labored. Oh my god, that smells so good. <laughs> I'm a good one. Yes, yeah, so I did notice the shirt change. Julie like prefers to be on top. No, Dad. Yes. Yep, the whole thing's gone to shit. <laughs> I'm just seeing other people are having trouble on the Discord everywhere. <laughs> I think Stream Elements has gone to shit. I think the browser's crashed and fucking everything's gone to shit. YouTube's now breaking as well. <laughs> Yay for technology. Good time to be alive. Yep. So much fun. All the technology. Oh, that shit is broken. Oh, that shit is broken. Hey, Julie, you've got to get one of yourself the, this kind of mug. YouTube is not keeping up and the stream is way behind. I would love Ken's logo yeah. on one of those wine tumblers. Mm -hmm. But I don't, think the, I don't think the website has them. <laughs> no, but I could get some something else to get it on. Can you just get me, can you just get like stickers? You can get stickers. You've got stickers, right? Correct. Like vine, like the ones from like the cricket, like the ones that are dishwasher safe. Uh, I've got some stickers ordered. Uh, they're just Chris Kiss Cut stickers. I don't know what the quality of them. I've got a couple on their way. All right, let me know how they turn out because I will happily get like a white one of this, <laughs> and I'll put the sticker in the center of that because these are yeah. these are insulated. They're the wine glasses. <laughs> But they also have a cap and they're insulated and I can drink whatever the fuck I want out of it. Huh. I'm on the mobile app and you guys went blank sounding like acid recording on the 60s. <laughs> that's how we sound all the time. What are you talking about? No, that's how you sound yeah. all the time. <laughs> that's the way Julie makes it sound all the time. Cool, not good with a connection <laughs> either. You two just overwhelmed. Oh, so that makes kind of fucking shit. <laughs> Should I stop start the stream? No, no, I'll skip the stream game, but I'll stop start OBS and then. Uh, Does that make any difference? Uh, oh, so do, we, broken. do we have to rejoin? Yes. No, no, no. You don't have to do anything. Don't we? No, you don't have to do anything. I no. thought we had to. No, you'll still be in here. It'll be fine. It'll just the stream on YouTube will pause. 
Will I stop and then start? But okay, well, my I'm apologies. Looking. I was wrong. I'm just looking in, on YouTube. Big League Bourbon. Seems they, all fine on Hello, Big League Bourbon. I don't know who that is. Who is Chris. That? Hey, Chris. Everyone. Yeah, cheers, Chris. Yeah. You don't know who Big League Bourbon is? I'm pretty sure Big League Bourbon and I had a moment. I don't think it's you. I just pulled up another video and it's fine. Okay, well, I just checked on YouTube okay. my end and it seems fucking fine. All right, I'll stop start. Give me a second. I'm so confused. Julie, Big League Bourbon, he does, um, he interviews actual um, baseball players in America on his channel. And if you need designs mm. and t-shirt designs and banners and um, thumbnails and all that stuff, he's your man. Yep, exactly. This guy and he'll help you set up your YouTube designs and all sorts of shit? Fucking A. Okay. He does epic designs. Shameless plug moment. <laughs> yep. But even without that, just subscribe to his channel. Well, in that case, I would love to. Um, I would love to talk to him because I do want to organize a um, like a Hobbit door and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, you like it. I do have to oh, organize yeah. that. All right, I stop start the stream um, from OBS. It's still hot. <laughs> I mean, everything on my end. Seems fine. I mean, I've, I'll open another copy of this stream. Well, Big League Bourbon, if you jump across... Sugar Kitty, can you post the link to my um, channel again for me, please? Big League Bourbon, if you jump across to my channel and like and subscribe it, it'll come up with your information for me and my little backdoor doodad, whatever. English is my first language, I swear to God. Hold on, I'll, I'll mod Chris and then he can put his contact deets. There you awesome. go, Chris, you're modded. You can put your contact deets in and Julie can hit you on Insta. Thank you. I'm the only one who uses hashtag Hobbit who drinks on Instagram as well. Okay, so yeah, the YouTube stream on my end seems fine. I'll just open it in another tab. Seems fine. Okay, awesome. I think it was YouTube that had a snafu. Yeah, I'm thinking it was fucking YouTube. But I think over your stream elements are still clusterfucked. Yep, that's still fucked up. I mean, the overlay and everything's still there, but it's all. Mm white in the background, so they've fucked something up. Don't know what the fuck I've done. Do da, do da. But the other one's fine, like the one for the pop-ups is working, so. Good day. Hobbit who drinks. Hello! It's a pleasure! Always. Everything's broken on the interwebs. <sighs> Fucking technologies. All the technomologicals are munted. I didn't do it. I didn't do it either. My technology, my, my technology is actually working really well for me tonight. <laughs> yeah, I even have a cute new ring oh, you, had, you had one glitch. Oh, I did actually. I did yeah, have the one glitch. My apologies. And then your in, your interwebs did die. My interwebs didn't die. Yes, you did. Just then. When? When you dropped out and you came in as number three, you were underneath. No, my interwebs didn't die. I had to get up. 
No, your internet died out. You lost out and then you came back in and at the beginning before we even started, the view mm. that you saw was all shit too. No, so what happened with that? My internet didn't die. That was actually me manually refreshing because our screen when it was you and I, it did the weird freezy thingy and you were like, oh, hang on a sec. But I didn't listen to you. <laughs> and oh. I hit I hit refresh. And, and I... Fine. And then I jump back in. So it was a it was an issue that we were already having. And then I did a cliche woman thing, and I didn't listen. I refreshed three yeah. times. Voice is still out of sync for me. Still lagging. I don't what? know. I don't know. I don't know either. I didn't. Do Simon did it. Yeah, it's Simon's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's like, fuck you. I didn't do shit. I didn't do shiza. <laughs> you want to know what I'm really looking forward to when the weather, when the weather, when the English. When the weather, weather. When the weather gets warmer. Warmer. Sundresses. Yeah. <laughs> Sundresses. I am looking forward to going outside and seeing all of the women in their sundresses. It's gonna be so good. I love my country sometimes. What do you mean I by sundress? A sundress. Sundress. Mm. Like the flowery ones and shit. Why are you oh, asking? Flowery. What? 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 Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> sundress. Never um, heard of that. Simon, sweetie. Yeah. When was the last time you got laid, darling? Not telling anyone. Ha! <laughs> Not telling anyone. Um, okay, just Google like women in a sundress and you'll see what I mean. Just, just Google sundress. Don't What's Google that? women in a sundress. Just Google. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll Google Ken in a sundress. <laughs> oh, a better, a better one. Google women in sheer sundress. You will not regret it and you will thank me later. I love what Sugar Kitty has said. I don't blame any of these women. Must be a huge Saint Bernard at the controls of YouTube's. Simon, I don't be a blockhead. All right, but sundresses they like old school. Not really. Yeah, I just had a look there. Yeah. Mm. You still shouldn't oh, drug me. No, I know that was extremely uncool. Mm, that's not though. Holy shit! Right, Glenn Cooley for the best of times. No, I did no such thing. I just gave him a Google search. What he does with it is up to him. I can't remember the Google. last time I've seen a girl in a sundress. Down here, that really? they don't wear that. It's just short shorts and. Are you looking up the right thing? Yeah, sundress. They're the flowery. Keep talking. Come on. <laughs> They're the flowery what? You know, the kind of old school 60s dress with the sunflowers and shit on it. No, that's rockabilly. Well, that's, I that's like what rockabilly. I just Googled. That's a rockabilly dress. I like rockabilly. Rockabilly dress is <laughs> great. Like yeah, that's, that's, what yeah my, man. that's what my pinafore is. I love the 60s. I love the 50s and 60s. Yeah, that. but that's why I went, that's yeah. why I went here. I'm a photographer, man. I'm a photographer. I like that. That's I know. I know. That's so of me. Yeah. We don't see that down here. I've never seen people wear that down here. So roughneck what? farm girls for Simon because he lives out the bush. <laughs> Push pig. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hang on a second, Simon. Just Jesus, fucking sweet baby Jesus, help me here. Man, who wears a sundress? I do. Do you have a problem? No, but what's like, gonna wear sundresses? That's but so I've cute. never seen what? rock. Do you live under? Never seen oh Monty Park. Never seen Star Trek. Never seen any good move. Don't even know what a sundress is. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, oh my god, in there. <laughs> like down here, it's literally just short shorts and fucking a tank top at best. Wow. You, oh. need, to, you need to move. I mean, seriously, dude. <laughs> I live in a fucking real small town. I freaking see sundresses all the really? fucking time. Really? No, I've never seen a sundress down here. What, what the fuck is wrong with you? I worry so much for this country. I definitely worry. I mean, I'm a good alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crackhead. You're an absolute crackhead. <laughs> absolute crackhead. Okay. I've literally oh. just like look. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Sundress, you Philistine. Yeah, there you go. They, yeah, Thank uh, you. They don't they... wear that down here. I never see that. Yeah, I don't. Bullshit. Oh my god, nope, nope, dude. No. Nope. Look, that's Sundress. Bullshit. Seriously. Barely. I mean. Maybe one in every thousand, but fucking hell. Oh, fuck off. see that shit. Yep. Oh it's such God. a common fucking thing, man. No. Nope. Seriously. Simon, you're interested in women, right? Yeah, definitely. So you notice women, right? Yeah. Do you notice what they're wearing? Yes. How are you not noticing the most common fashion trend of women for the last decade? Nope. I, I barely see that. Literally, they just, it's just... The typical short shorts. That's just no. I refuse to ignore. I refuse to accept this. No, nope. that is definitely. I refuse true. to accept that. No, no, nope. I refuse to accept it. I'm sorry, but no. Yeah, I nope. refuse that as well. I barely see anyone with sundress. Literally, okay. I barely see that. Okay. So what we need to do is, when it's summer, we'll we'll go down there. I'll take we a shitload of fucking We photos. need to, yeah, we need to go adventuring, and we need to like, well, I can even, I can even like film for my YouTube channel while I'm walking, so it's not like sus and everything. Yeah, and, we're like sundress, sundress. And I'll sundress, be like, yeah, that's it. I'll be do, I'll do like a fashion thing, like a, a Sheen unboxing or something, while we're walking through his area. And I'll be like, look at all of this. Go to the stores, but there's fucking there summer no dresses down here. <laughs> like, there is a few, but it's really uncommon. Really Simon, uncommon. <laughs> Simon <laughs> lives in a colony of butch lesbians. Okay, all right. Um. <laughs> hey, I wish Jim. I wish Jim Bush. All right. Lesbian Even they wear sundresses for fuck's sake. <laughs> all right. Excuse me. Just so you guys know as well, um, the word butch. Those lesbians don't actually like being called Bush. Just a fun fact. I said Bush. I didn't. Oh, say I know. Bush. I, I know. Bush. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, so, so for like Jim and anyone else who still calls lesbians like that, Bush, <laughs> they go by they go by the term mask, as in mask, mask, and then masculine. So <laughs> lesbians are broke. Lesbians are broken up into two or three categories. They're broken up into mask lesbians, as in masculine lesbians. So like they dress more, um, they dress more manly. They have that masculine personality. And then you have your femme lesbians, who is essentially me. Um, and then you have that, like just that little in between, who is neither feminine nor masculine, is just that kind of androgynous lesbian that you're like, what are you? Like. I'm curious, what are you? <laughs> and and then you have them, and they're they're so fantastic. So I uh, don't even need to go to the beach. Lipstick lesbians and butch lesbians. Yes, that's exactly what I was just saying. You have femme lesbians and you have masculine lesbians. They don't actually like to be called that because those are incredibly male terms. And now just so I'm just having I'm not having a go. I'm just giving you guys this chance to have the education from a bisexual woman who lives in that world and dates lesbians, okay? Um, they don't like those terms because they are masculine created terms. They're, they're terms created by men for us. They go by femme lesbians, masculine lesbians or mask lesbians. Call them what you want, but I want to be there when one of them like decides to punch you in the face one day. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, two types of gay guys, tops and bottoms. That's the exact same for women, though, you crackhead. There's t- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> tops and bottoms is not only a gay thing. What, what the hell are straight people supposed to do? The horizontal boogie and that is all? Like, but you've got to be like, you've got to smoosh like this. Vertical tango. <laughs> That's it. You're not allowed to lay on top of each other anymore. You got to like lay. No, nah, can't do it. Back. Yep, can't do it. Yep, because it's a gay only thing. Sorry, guys. Straight people, sorry. Yep, can't do it. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's just the nine. It's absolutely not a problem. Like, you call them whatever you want. That's 100% up to you guys if you do <laughs> want to make that um, terminology change or not. That's up to you. Um, just don't be shocked in the future if someone calls you up when you say something else. Like, say whatever you want. You're a grown ass, like you guys are grown ass men. Say whatever you want. Uh, just don't be shocked in the future if someone calls you, calls you on it. That's all. So I tell Becky your first message. I can't handle the name of Simon. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> How did you know, Ken? How did you know? <laughs> well, you, you reckon you've never seen him, so you're a closet sundress wearer. No, 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 no. Jim, don't, don't think twice about saying it here. This is like one of those, this is one of those safe spaces. What's your favorite color? <laughs> yeah. This is a safe place, Jim. Yeah, Jim. I wear sundresses because I like them, Jim. Hmm. Like, even if you're here and you're, <laughs> if you're misogynistic, I will call you on it and I'll be like, look, yeah. what you have said is this and this is why. I will say, right, I'm not, Jim. I'm not, I'm not just going to be like, oh, you're a fucking this asshole. This is just Don't a regular that. pub conversation. Yeah. That's it. This exactly, is just a regular Jim. conversation. Yeah. Like, if we, someone says something. This is a safe space, Jim. <laughs> Says the girl in sundress. Yeah, um, I will welcome you with open arms. Jim. Don't do it because the chest hair sticking out of his sundress will get, it'll exfoliate you. Um, if yeah. if you say something racist, I'll be like, yeah, that was racist because of these reasons. I'm not going to just call you out on being an a hole. That's just that's a dick move. Like fuck that. No, we're all a holes. That's it. That's, like that's that's. that's- that's yeah, but I, yeah, but like I'm not going to go out of my way to make someone else feel shit because they've said yeah. something. I was like, exactly. oh, you've said this. I was like, okay, in case you weren't aware, yeah. um, the only reason I feel like I can talk on this su- subject to begin with is because that's my community. I'm part of the LGBT community and I know those people. Um, I would have, I wouldn't have much of a, like a backing in a racist term, like a racist conversation because I don't really have like a foot in that door. I just feel like from what I've seen, that would this would be a racist comment, but that that's really it. I don't really have anything to say there. But here I do, because that's my that's those are my people. But um no, other than that, no, you say whatever you want here. This is hundred yeah. percent a safe space. Simon even wears dresses here. He hides them under his yeah, cardigan. Exactly. Yeah, just just come give me. Why a do you hug. think I'll, I'll why waiting. do you think Simon's been changing his shirt but he hasn't been taking off his yeah. um his cardigan tonight? Mm. You don't want to see what's underneath. I don't. I really don't. Please don't. It's undress. It's undress. Mm. You've seen me, you've seen me in a few of them. It's just because you can't see the bottom. You can't really tell. I've I've been educating myself on. <laughs> I bet you yeah. have. <laughs> no, seriously. I've been on the last few days while I've been working. I found this awesome YouTube channel that. They do really cool videos where they do, oh my God. they they recreate the dress, and then they do these really cool videos where they actually go through each piece of clothing from the 11th century up to like World War Two, from women and men, from the different classes, the different um, positions. Like they did like a 14th century plowman, they did like 11th century uh, women worker. They've done like a can uh, I just, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but can I just take a moment to gracefully thank Tony for all of the effort he has put in this evening? I am, 
Thank, I am very, very grateful for your uh, your seedy sense of humor. It has made my night <laughs> so much more enjoyable. <laughs> Thank you so much, my guy. Thank you. Please continue your story about the fashion wear from the centuries. Yes, it was very educational. Very educational. Educational. <laughs> Educational. I mean, fucking hell, it takes like fucking at least half an hour to get fucking dressed if you're like from 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th century. I was like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. Amount oh, of fucking petticoats and fucking... And then the, the, the what do you name, whether they, like during oh. the First World War, they didn't have the steel in them, so they're trying to use other material to Coarse hold... Corset. Corset. Straps. Corset. They, weren't called, they weren't called corsets, they were actually called... Uh, they were bussets and then oh, the bussets and the bustiers. Nah, before that, there was a it's another name, I can't think of it. it was, when you um, find it, send it to me. Um, oh, what's it called? I'm trying to think of it now because there's so many different names from each century, there was all different, oh, names. Yeah. and then in the different classes as well. Oh, definitely. yeah, it's fucking super interesting. Because <laughs> it wasn't until 1920s to the pretty much in the terms of underwear as we know, as you because before it was all the one one piece that you'd wear. It was usually you'd only have one or two of them, and that was a day wear and a night wear. Yeah. It was only like a and one now piece. on top on top of that information. Just to add a little uh, controversy to the subject, let's not carry on this conversation, by the way, because I don't need to have it. <laughs> um, add in to the lack of women's rights and the lack of um, the fashion designers way back when seeing us as humans, uh, how we used to have to free bleed way back oh. then with no underwear, nothing like that. We there's actually like some document, like there's some amazing documentaries about this. Um, we would have to wear like gauze packs and stuff like that. We're, we're wearing that one piece fucking pantaloon long john thing. And that's it because the fashion designers were men. They were men with women assistant, with female assistants. That's what it was. Well, uh, looking at this, I, I find that no, it wasn't. What? It wasn't because they would make their own attire. They made their own dress. A lot of women did was, eventually, yes, because they couldn't afford. Yeah, a lot, and a lot of it, a lot of it during the medieval medieval ages and towards the later with the Edward and Victorian ages was influenced by the kings and queens of what they wore, which would influence the dress of the time. Yes, that is actually true. Um, mm. What the in the like the eight in the eight hundreds and the nine hundreds, what the women used to do, there was a specific grade of rushes or what like what is this the stuff they used to put on the floor? It's like that that very it was a very specific it was a specific hay or whatever they would use. Um, women were able to make it finer and they were able to add like cotton linings and stuff like that. They were able to make their own absorbent like linings and own absorbent padding and they would strap it to themselves because they didn't have, they just didn't wear underwear. It was no, so there's no underwear. It was so cumbersome. It was like a it was like a, a long t shirt for and that was for centuries. Yeah. There was no tunic. there was no underwear. Hmm. No, it's not it's not a tunic. Uh, the, it has well, a, no like a name. long t a long uh, well I don't know what the terminology is, but a long t shirt and they would strap it in with like a belt. Like if they wore no, a belt, it wasn't they strapped in. It. it wasn't strapped in. If I said if, if they cinched it, because in some cultures they did wear belts, but it was an if, a big if. Now the belt went on the outside, outside the petticoats. Yes. Oh, you're talking about the shift. Yeah, there was a shift. Yeah. Yeah, there was, there was the shift. That was one, one turn. And then the, Yes. and then you might have like the, Panty bloom thing with was just leggings, pretty much. Pantaloons. Split in the middle for males and females. And then you, but the shift was the most common. There was an Up open gusset. Yeah, it was an open gusset. Yeah, open gusset. Yeah. 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 
was, yeah, super fucking in. And then you'd have the petticoat, and then you'd have the the fucking. There's a woman on pack. um. There's a woman on TikTok who does that sort of stuff as well, and she's so fucking fascinating because she does it all in either one minute or three minute videos, and it was. Oh, I've seen her. They're awesome, and she hand makes every piece. They're fucking I amazing. No, oh my They're God. so good. Yeah, yeah. And then if she you goes out. In it and fast, it's no fun either. Awesome. Leader Hosen or. If she's in the. She's over in Eastern Europe somewhere. I think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking no, of. Awesome. Um, I'm thinking of actually getting one of the the. The wench, the bar wench, outfits for our Oktoberfest stream. And I mentioned it to David, and he had a, like a snort laugh, and he was like, "Yeah, no." And I was like, "Why?" Not, you yeah, not bow. It's it's uh, yeah, Dimdal. That's it. Oh. You can buy them. It's not a bow yeah. it's, it's an actual dress. It's a barbarian dress. I know it is. Oh, it's not a bow wench. <laughs> oh. It's an actual traditional dress. Awesome. Good for them. That's not my tradition. I'm going to call it a bow wench's outfit. Okay, you can call it a bow wench. But That's yeah. what the sexy girls who serve me beer at the pub wear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to call it a bow wench, like a beer wench outfit. All right. Okay. Awesome. Leave them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I, I, su <laughs> I suggested to him that I was going to wear one. And he was like, yeah, no. I was like, why? Not? why? And he's like, because he's like, your boobs are already too big. You don't need to be all like smooshed and pushed up. <laughs> well, you don't have to do that. <laughs> it's all part of the outfit though, to like have it all like. No, no, the, the, the proper dental doesn't have that. You it's got the ones. poofy like linen here, like the shirt, like that undershirt and shit. Yeah, but you don't have to have the one that's like the push-up one. Where's the fun? Well, it's just up to you. <laughs> up to you. I know it's up to me. I was just telling you what David said. Oh, okay. I know it's. And he was assuming you were getting that style of one, but not the traditional. I know, one. You, but that's because you get a traditional he, one. He probably doesn't know there is a traditional one. He probably thinks it's all the one thing. Yeah, well, you get o the spirit. Octoberfest <laughs> is Octoberfest is me. W O'Neill. Hey, William. My wife bought my money. Awesome. Um, yeah, it, it, pretty much Octoberfest is just like meat, beer. Yeah, geez, Sexy wenches who hand you beer, Lederhosen, more beer. That's about it. Yeah, and you don't want to wear Lederhosen in Australia because it's not. <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs> not in October. You will fucking die. Their boobs are you usually out fake there. Lederhosen, but do not wear a traditional fucking leather because it is literally leather. You will mm -hmm. die. That's not a me problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> but you will fucking die. Actually, down awesome. here, October's aren't too bad. Yeah, for yeah, you. Well, yeah. You also don't have you also don't have sexy girls in sundresses. You don't get an opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your life is boring down there. Shut up. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm leaving. The books are usually out there, slash boobs. It's true, though. I'm not kidding. It's true. I mean, that's a very stereotypical with the boobs out there, but I'm thinking of the traditional ones. Or not. Are you Googling? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Ow. Again? I'm stuck. <laughs> You're stuck. I, I just st tried to, sh I just tried to shift and it pulled on my leg. <laughs> Fuck. I can't fucking win. All right, be back in a tick. Got to pour another dram. Okay. Again. Ouch! Oh my god! 
There you go, this is the ones I'm thinking of. I like these ones better. Mm. Ow. My bra is attacking me. I like these ones. Oh my god, I'm not dressing up like that. Or you can go the stereotypical beer witch. <laughs> Thank you! Yep. I mean, those those are they those ones are quite traditional. They're in Munich, but then that's yeah, cute. That one. Yeah, but that's not the. I mean, that's what most people think, but it's it's not like that. Because it's cute. I know, but you get the nice ones of, like that. I like those ones because that is a fucking professional photo, and she would not look like that, and her outfit would not look like that. Yeah, but that's traditional Bavarian dress. That dress is also photoshopped to the shithouse, so the colours of that dress you are getting are not going to be that pristine. It is not going to look that appealing. Yeah, what a fucking bit. Yeah, what a fucking bit. <laughs> no I mean, that's bit. what most people think, but that, that looks like shit. I would literally wear the apron on the top layer because aprons are cute. Aprons are so effing cute. Um, multiple petticoats. I good. love a good petticoat. Petticoats are adorable. And they go swish when you move. Depending on which um, century and which ones you're using, because they wore the like six of them. Be, the top could be cut high or low. The top for me would probably be yeah. cut low only because... Yeah, no, the top would be cut low for me only because I have a... um. I have a sensory issue with clothing being too close to my neck. So. Yep. Exactly, Shoe Kitty. That's what I was trying to say. They're not what you typically think as the beer wings look. Yeah, and some of them are very nice and detailed. Yeah, the traditional Bavarian dress is awesome. And that's awesome. I'm still just saying that a lot of the times when I was looking at women in these dresses, I was probably very drunk and probably hitting on them and may have had one or two on my lap. I, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. They don't mind fuck? being... Fair enough. They don't no, mind being no called, judgment. They don't mind <laughs> being <laughs> called beer <laughs> wenches. More lucky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they don't mind being called beer wenches, especially when they're like in that attire. It's cute. And I then Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Just wear the bow on the proper side, depending on shows whether you're single or taken. Oh, I did not know this. What can you can you explain that a bit more to me? I've, I don't know this. It's like the ring thing. you got to wear it on the right side. I don't know which side is which. Don't you just side. tie the bow of an apron on the back? No, it's got to go to the side. I don't know this. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, got to go to the side. That's what I'm yes, asking. And it's, not, it's not only just Bavarian, but also Black Forest, Swiss, Austrian, Mounts, um, and other many other countries as well. Awesome attire. There's actually, uh, there's a really cool, uh, I think they might be Denmark. There's a cool YouTube band. Might be Denmark. Way up north, up in the hills somewhere. I think it might be, yeah, it might be Denmark or it might be Scan, yeah, it could be. They're called, the, they're Scan, called the Von Traps and they already made a song. No, 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 I'm so, it's a, it's a YouTube band. They're really cool. And they, they, they wear traditional attire and it, it's amazing. And they do a traditional dance and stuff. It's really cool. Ooh. I'm not sorry for what I said. Traditional. It's not he lung, is it? No, it's not high lung. No, yeah, oh. not them. No, this I is. Um... I don't know. No, I know. I know the. I know the band you're talking about. They're way before. 
they're real old school. So. Yeah, they're like Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Well, not not Stone Age, but that close, <laughs> close Neolithic. Yeah, they're they're way oh, before okay. Viking. That's interesting. Thank you for that um, information, Tony. That's really appreciated. There you go. I will remember this. Thank you. Yep. I really, yeah, really I like know. wearing aprons. Like when I'm when made. I'm cooking, I actually have like handmade aprons. Um, so I wear aprons a lot because I just I think it's just it's aesthetically pleasing. It's not practical for me. It's aesthetically pleasing for me. It's something my grandmother used to do, and just kind of. It makes me feel like my cooking is just that little bit more homely. Yep. Even though the apron has nothing to do with my food. Like, it was a more way for Independence Day, and each kid was in a parade with different traditional costumes. Nice. Yeah, uh, yeah it's not Denmark. I'm, I'm trying to think where it is. Didn't keep me from knowing my left and my right. <laughs> I wouldn't have this black eye. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was, it might even been Eastern Europe. I can't remember where it was. It was fucking awesome though. I'm trying to remember it. I can't remember the name of it. I just remember, I, used to, I watched the video a few times because it was fucking awesome. And they, they sang really well. It's it fucking cool. I have to try and find it. It was a catchy tune. And it was like a, a competition in the video between the guys, like they they were wearing normal dress, and then all of a sudden they they went into like a competition. And they were doing their traditional the female dance and then the male dance against each other. It was awesome. If you can find it, let us know. Yeah, I'll have to try and find it again. All right. I'm going to call it a night at 12.30 because I have to go to the bathroom. And it's 12.30, so I might just call it a night. I, like, just because. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I has the burp. And that's okay. I'm just grateful you yeah. used your manners like a human being. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I am actually getting a little tired. Are we tired? Yes, we are back. I found this um, this YouTube video when I was looking at the that YouTube series that did all the dress attire stuff. Well, mm -hmm. dress male and female through the centuries. Found this guy that's been researching traditional Highland outdoor wear. With like the great kilts and he spent two years researching it with his kit and he go and he goes out camping and surviving out in the northern highlands. What'd you do? What'd you break? Tell Carly. Oh, top weight lead? You can get a replacement. <laughs> Tell Carly. I just... just be like, babe! Do you know how she was talking her cup up earlier? It broke it. <laughs> like, I can fix it, but now I know it's never going to fit the same. Very large singing competition in Switzerland every year, dancing and golding. Yep. Yeah, there's lots of them. Yeah, Sugar Kitty, um, look up Gardner and the Tree. Gardner and the Tree, that is my cousin's band in Switzerland. 
It's a trap. It takes you to porn. Don't do it. No, no. Seriously, they they've actually got a decent following on YouTube. The Gardener and the Tree. That's an arborist. Mm-hmm. No, it's yeah. <laughs> no, have a look. You'll see. That is literally my Simon. Simon, baby, it went okay. straight over his head. Sweetie, sweetie. Um, a gardener who specialises in trees is called an arborist. Yeah, no, I'm just That's... talking to Sugar Kitty. I mean, he <laughs> mentioned. The... He mentioned a Switzerland band, like that's where he lives. Swiss, Swiss. Yeah, band. Swiss. Yeah, that's where my um, cousin's from. Well, even I'm from there. But is that why you're so pasty? <laughs> well, I'm half Italian. My dad's from Italy, but yeah, my mum's from Switzerland. Yeah, my mum, my mother is from Sicily. I've actually been eating. My folks from you. from Australia, but my great great granddad was from Yorkshire, so I've got. You're, Yorkshire. you're not even pacey. You're paper. <laughs> I am blinding white light. You're paper. <laughs> you are literally. Paper. I am paper. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm blinding um, white light. Yeah, like I've been sitting here eating homemade uh, Italian meatballs with a homemade Neapolitana sauce. Oh, nice. This is what yep. I've been eating this whole time. The really? green that you can the green that you can see is only because I did have an avocado that was ready to eat and I was just like I'll put some healthy fat on there as well because I actually don't have any um uh I was I was really kind of hoping I had some leftover um Fuck, what did I make? My brain has just died. What did I make? Brain fat. I'm trying to. It wasn't tablet telly. I didn't. Computer says no. I'm trying to remember what pasta I made. Mm. You ever just have one of those days and take your brain stops working? All the fucking time. Oh my god. (laughs) Every time I wake up, pretty much. (laughs) Yeah. Quarter Italian. Mother's grandparents were. And 1920s, quarter Swedish, and the rest is Scottish, English, and a bit of mystery. Yep, I don't know any of my mother's side. Fucking joy of mystery. Oh, there we go. O'Neill, he's got family from Sicily as well. Oh my god, I made Cecily. Fuck Why off. was I why the hell was I going to Tagli Telly? They're not even I in the same know. category. Like, I, have I know nothing. Tagli, I have not made Tagli Telly in like eight months. No nine months. No, so I made um I made yeah a homemade Neapolitana sauce with uh, some meatballs and um, some fusilli. Fuck! I swear to God, I know how to English. I know how to a little Italian. But... <laughs> <laughs> I pretty oh much God. know no Italian, but lots of Switzerland. <laughs> it's weird. No, uh, my um. My mother was brought to Australia when she was three weeks old and she was adopted out because she was, she was a mid sixties baby born and, um, she was born out of wedlock to a Catholic Catholic family. Yeah. Yeah. That explains it. (laughs) She was fucking exported. She was expedited so fucking quickly. It was not funny. So, because of their religion, naturally, they don't abort children. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, they did the next best thing. They shipped her to another country. The mother actually brought her out. 
And um, so my nonna, she brought her out and she adopted her, like she put her into the system here. She was adopted at three weeks old by my grandparents, oh. who are incredibly English. <laughs> so my mother didn't have any Italian teachings as a child. Um, everything I know, I've had to learn myself and I've had to discover my own culture myself based on my mother's um, birth records and shit. So if you want to watch and, that series on the attire from like the 11th century to now, it's mm. called Crow's Eye Productions. Oh, okay. On Utud. I'm still trying to learn how to um, cook rotini. I don't know how to cook it properly because it's like it looks like this type of uh it looks like basmati like how i would make risotto but it's not it's pasta so i'm still trying Actually, to learn Kitty, i've been i do genealogy as well but my mother's side is well my mum's mum's side i should rephrase that because my mum's dad's side i've traced that back to the 16th century but Hmm. Man, the genealogy trees and everything are going to be taking the biggest hit at the moment. Like, oh my god. I don't even want to know, like, how much of my family might, might be left. Because Sicily took a big hit with COVID last year. Fuck yeah. yeah. Like, and it's been, it was actually made very clear to my mother when she tried to reach out to her mother that my mother was not wanted. She is still not wanted because of their religion and everything. She, my mother's existence is a blemish. So mm. I know that if I try to reach out, I won't be welcome. <laughs> so I'm just not going to bother. Well, what's her religion? They're Catholic. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. My Jim's mother was born out of... 1730, 1740 migration, Pennsylvania. My father's side of the family is Scotch, Irish, instead of Scottish. The DNA is what pronounced it. Yeah, I need, I still, really cool. I've got the, the kit there, I just haven't done it. Hmm. Yeah, but um, my mother, so because my I'm mother was born, the tube. because my mother was born out of wedlock, I will be illegitimate to the family line as well as a result. Um, even though I was actually born in wedlock, but I was a product of rape, so I'm still I'm still not clean in the eyes of their lord. Oh fuck. Um oh no. Don't worry about it, let it go. Don't dwell on it. Trust me. There is worse in my life that you could dwell on that'd make you like cry. Don't dwell on that. That's not something to worry about. But still that's pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Mm. It happens more commonly than people think. It just gets swept under the rug. So it's too dark of a subject to discuss at this hour of the night anyway. So fair enough. We yeah. could, trust me, trust me. We're good guys. We don't need to have this discussion. Okay. It was fair just enough. a it was just a part it was just a passing comment. Fair enough. Um fair enough. Um so because of that and how I exist, I it's just another reason why I would not be welcome in the family because of their religion and the reason why I exist. It's not a pure reason, even though I was born within wedlock. Uh, my children, even though we call David my husband, he actually doesn't like the terminology fiance because we're engaged. He hates it. He doesn't think it sounds like, he doesn't like it. <laughs> it's not very permanent. Um, their Lord can go take a flying leap. Religion is so obnoxiously backwards in a lot of ways. All I'm saying about that. I agree. Yep. Fuck religion. That's all I'm saying about that. I definitely agree. Um, so, yeah, like my children are technically bastards. So, again, my entire line is irrelevant to my mother's biological parents. Um, so that's why I'm just like, I'm not bothering to look for them. I just wanted to find out the region they live in and the generational region or regions they've lived in. So I can learn about that because that's what interests well, me. You can do that, do that with the genealogy. You don't have to contact them. You can. No, I know. No, I know. That. But that's yeah. why I'm saying like, that is what I have learned. That's all I wanted to look into. So that way I've been able to learn about my heritage without actually having to fuck around with learning about the people 
I've learned about the cultures yeah, right. that, that they grew up in instead. And yeah. I've tried to apply some of that culture within my own home. Every single generation and most families That's of my brutal. father were yeah that that's painful <laughs> that is painful I, when you get yeah. to that i've gotten to that with my dad's dad back in yorkshire there's like ten thousand fucking jameses and edwards all the same fucking name like, Jesus. do you know how many fucking lorenzos you have to look through oh my god i don't understand why that's such a common italian name <laughs> What you need is Scandinavian history because they did really good records and they have the mother's name. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I was able to, um, you know, I have some amazing recipes now as a result. It's like I now get to start my own, my, like my own generational line of like recipe books and stuff like that. I get to give them to my children and they can then give them to their children. And that'll start with me because my mother didn't do it. My mother didn't care enough to do that, but I don't yep. want to, I don't want to intrude on people who don't want me and I don't want to have to go through that. So, nah. I, I, so all I did was you I just, enemies, I, you can't pick your family. I know. So you can design your family though. You can just um, definitely just own them. <laughs> so I've just um, I've just been learning about the cultures and stuff like that that my that my generational line comes from. And that's how I'm educating myself. Yep. That's it. And um, David's Irish. So David's grandfather is Scottish. David's grandmother is Irish. So nice. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm trying to find the lovely. I'm trying to find the German link because I'm a German. I love the food, I love the beer, I love the history, and I'm trying to find the Scottish link as well. I found the, the Irish, but I haven't found the Scottish link. So I think it's on my yeah. mum's mum's side. But there's a giant, and I'm fucking pissed because when I was a little kid, my grandmother had an old King James fucking Bible. It was like this fucking big and fucking massive, leather bound, and you open it and it had the whole fucking family tree. Ooh. And click of food into the front. Wow. And I would kill to go back in time to have this technology just to open the How old was that? Click. This was like 19 fucking 80. 1980? When I saw it. How, this, do you know how old the was, book was? Oh, this was old because it went to a museum for a oh. while. And then I had no idea where it went. It was pre-1940s? Oh, definitely. This is old. That would be really, really fascinating to get yeah, your hands exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. That would be really yeah, fascinating to get down. your hands on because that would be one of the closest to the original text that actually has the correct translation for um, the sin of pedophilia, which was in the 40s, forcefully transcribed incorrectly to homosexual which is the only, the, the, the sin of being a homosexual only existed from the forties onwards in the Christian and the Catholic churches, because the Bible was retranslated and the board, the members of that board have come out in the last like year or two and have openly owned up in interviews. Oh, that shit, that be, shit happened be, throughout time. <laughs> I know, I know. You all know the books, a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Oh, fucking A. But this is why that would be yeah. so interesting to read because even though that shit that has front, been changed and fabricated, <laughs> I just love to read the. I would just love to read the rest of it. I would love to see what it said before it was transcribed in the forties. I don't even want the book. I just want to go up to the book and go click. That's all I want. Just have that whole fucking family tree there, back from generations and generations. Ah, oh, that's. The one biggest regret that there wasn't anything like that when I was a, a kid, I could just snap a photo of that. Because all that's gone. All that. And my mum's gone, so I've got no idea where my my grandmother was born or anything. I can't find anything. I've got 
the marriage certificate was just really weird and it's it's all uh, I, I've got no idea. Ah. Fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to look into the bull? What? Fishing man, that's your dad, right? Yes, into the book. Yeah, we've talked about this before. But supposedly it went to the museum, but no idea what happened to it. Ken, that is where you say, yes, thank you, Father. That's yes, very kind we, of you. About, yes, we would love to find that book. <laughs> thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Father. <laughs> I'd love to find that book. I just, want okay. to, I just want to take a picture of that front of it. It's, it's okay, Ken. It's, 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 it's got I've got, my your, I've got your back. It's got my name in it. It's got my sister's name in it. It's got my mum's name in it. It's got my dad's name in it. It's got all of this in it. And then God knows how many generations back. I say, that's I just real. I just had that thought. That's why one of those moments where it's like. David would be like, see, this is where your little, like, your future no little nonna comes out. And I'd be like, what do you mean? He's like, because you're literally reminding gentlemen older than you to use their <laughs> manners <laughs> when talking to their own parents that have nothing to do with you. You're reminding them to use their manners. And I'd be like, well, manners are important. And it's yes. not a matter of respect, it's a matter of, because, you know, I don't know if, like, your father seems amazing, but it's like... He is amazing. I don't, I don't know, I don't know your father from a bar of fucking soap in the grocery store. Um, so I don't know if your father has earned or deserves the respect, but you yes. are a better person, so you deserve to respect yourself enough to use your manners. Yes. Yes. Which we, is why we I have, remind we, people. We to have, our, we have talked manners. about this, trying, trying to, uh track that book because I said I was going to ring the museum and not the museum. Was it the museum? Yeah, I think it was the museum. I don't know. I just he's remember his grandmother. He's a man of few it. words, isn't he? Yeah, he's probably he's probably reading the reading the news or something while he while he's lurking in the background. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if you were still floating around, Dad. Awesome. Mm. That's how my genealogy started. I had my ancestors 1830 Bible with the family info. It was originally my grandfather's, but he gave it to my mum and she gave it to me about 10 years. So yeah, that that's the thing. Like, I, I would have loved to have got a picture of that back when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm falling asleep. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your night. It was a pleasure talking to everybody. And oh, Always. Poof. Poof. Yeah. What, is, what does poof mean? Gone. Disappeared. Poof. Oh, poof. Poof. With an F. Poof. poof. Your dad said yeah. poof. poof. Go for with, a t with a TH. <laughs> yeah. But, what, but that's not how you spell it. What do you I spell know. It? It's P O W F, but it's fine. No, no, no. I, that's a, and that's okay. I just wanted to make sure I was not like missing something. I'm, I'm thinking it's meant to be poof. Like this is it is it's disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Muddle. It disappeared. It went poof. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. It was 14, so my mum and I started going through the records to get down to one day. At one point, her boss and her helper are all descendants from the Bible. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, cheers. Bye. Has that overlay been fixed? Or is it still broken? Oh, I'm guessing it's still broken. And yeah. Still broken. Night, Jolly. Viewer cropped. Switching to cropped viewer.
Yeah. Overlay is definitely still broken. So, what are you sipping on, Mr. Simon? Um, I'll just finish up on the... <clears throat> that fucking wild turkey. Wild turkey? Barrel. Ooh. Kentucky sweet. Quite finished. I mean, how many times do I refresh on my desktop, the video and audio are way out of sync? Has everyone else got it out of sync? I mean, I've refreshed it. On my end a couple of times and it seems fine. Yeah, it's fine down this end. Mm. What, on YouTube or what you're seeing on us, from us? Oh yeah, from us, right here. Yeah, well, this is out. This is before it goes out to YouTube's. Oh, okay. I mean, looking on my OBS, it's perfectly fine. There's no lag, I've got no red flags, there's no... Haven't lost any frames, haven't skipped any frames, it's all A-OK. -okay. And it's just happy purring along. Cool. And then the CPU's gone to sleep with that. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Uh, even the network hasn't dropped any frames. Yeah, I haven't dropped a single frame going out to the network. Uh, 5,000 kilobits. I've spit out. 2,500 meg data. Seems fine. It's been out of sync for over an hour after many refreshes. What the Ooh. hell? Even your previous start stopped. Hmm. Yeah. Even your previous start stopped. Hmm. And I'll see if I. Sink on my end. Even your previous start stop. Hmm. And I'll see if I. Okay. Yeah, I can see a little bit of a delay there as well. That clap sync was about a second and a half out. Um. Hmm. I don't know how to fix that. All right. Well, I'll stop. I'll stop and start OBS. Viewer small. Switching to small viewer. Did Simon jump? He must have done. Yep, he jumped out. But that was definitely a power maneuver. Alright, let us know if that... Give it a refresh and let us know if that's better. I'll just stop and start it. I can't see if it'll make any difference. Tell. 
Seems better. Yeah, it's a bit odd. That's much better. Quality of the video has just gone better too. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I didn't change anything. I mean, OBS was running perfectly fine, must have. <laughs> With all the other crap that's gone to shit tonight, I'm not surprised. <laughs> ah. That seems to be working too. There you go. Maybe it was OBS having a crap. Which is weird though, because I opened in stream elements, I put it in another tab and it was completely white, so maybe they fixed it at the same time. St. Bernard in the overlay is back. Yeah, I just clicked on the overlay and it's come back. Maybe that's a coincidence? Who knows? Technology, wonderful thing. Yep, overlays all back. So hopefully it should be synced a bit better now. It must have been when the browser completely shut itself. Maybe that's what it was, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely took a hissy fit, I know that much. Looks like my other browser, my other computer, cracked itself too. Okay. Fair enough. St. Bernard, you reckon? More than likely. Computer, time. Accessing. Dunno. Oh, at least the chat overlay working and the chat commands is working. We just know that the old spinny the old thing ain't gonna work. Not much we can do about that. Not without rewriting the JavaScript, which I ain't got time to do. Temperature's probably definitely dropped. Let's have a sticky beak. It won't bail, yeah, it's gone very quiet. Oh, 
But Simon was definitely half asleep. But he's an early riser. He probably worked today. Actually, Night no, he's, I think he's had it. Just said, what do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Frostbite. Ugh. <laughs> Ten degrees, eleven kilometer winds, eighty eight humidity, and so we on that. The magic box, see what it says. Okay, it's saying 6.9 degrees feels like 3.8. I'm gonna say, I suspect it a lot cooler than that because there is no cloud cover, so the blanket is not on. So it feels like three degrees, a bit more like it. 32 Bauer degrees, ben. yeah. Just said, and then there was only one quokka FCKR. <laughs> no quokka. No quokka. Still shouldn't have drugged me. No, I know that was extremely uncool. Mm, that's not though. Holy shit! Right, Glenn Gulley for the best of times. Must have got the sync to work on those all good. Ready to publish my video, but Ken will be asleep to see it all in its suckitude. I'll see it later in its suckitude. When you when you gonna when you what time you publishing it? I need to finish editing the video for Friday tomorrow. I've done the first bit of it, I just need to do the actual edit part. I've loaded all the clips in and synced it all and done the colour grading. Don't know, I'm on that screen now. Yes. Four PM. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> you can time it to publish later, but send the link now. Uh, you can send a link if it's private. You have to have the exact email of the recipient, and they have to be on Gmail. They have to have a Google account. So yes, you can send that. That's a new feature. I noticed they only just added that. So if it's private, you can share it to somebody who's got a Google account. Normally you used to only be able to do that with unlisted, but you can actually do it with private now. But yeah, yeah they have to have a Google account. That's fine. Just release it at 4 o'clock, it's only a couple of hours away. Because you want all those live interactions, not the private ones, because they don't count.
Yeah, only if it's listed as unlisted, you can do that. You can send out a link. You can't do that if it's private. Private has to be a Google account. And then you can't schedule it if it's unlisted. Because it's not actually a link if it's set to private, it's actually a direct connection. You've got to add each individual person. Good day. Travis Wallard. Good day, Travis. Been a day. How's everyone else? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad for one o'clock in the morning. Now the technology has decided to be a bit more cooperative. 29 degrees. 18 corner wind, 70% wind. That's a nice day. Good day, Travis. Same with Toronto. It's pretty nice, 29 degrees. 64 negative. Yeah, the overlays work now. I must have fixed it. Or it was just a complete glitch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was OBS because when I opened it in a browser, it still come up um, white. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they fixed it there in. Actually, I need to check on my watch hours. I'm like way over 4,000. I think I'm like seven or 8,000 watch hours or something. Sheet lag. So look. Feels a little Yeah, 99% is freaking hooned. And I do like that finally YouTube in the background is all in dark mode now. I've added dark mode for the whole lot. Love it. Alright, so let's go to analytical. And I've got 3,000 watch hours. Actually, no, 1,000 watch hours in the last 28 days. So I'm currently. Uh, 7,000 watch hours. So I think I've matched the 4,000 watch hours. Exactly, yeah. If it's private, the link won't work. You have to add it. You have to add each person's Google email account. Or you can put it unlisted. So what do I need to fix? 
Well, I need to fix it so when I do the pop-ups, they don't come through my speakers. I'm gonna work out how to do that. It's unlisted. All right, let's try. for me so that could be I'm just copying the link <sighs> which never seems to work in the chat I can't select it yeah I can't because I can't select it in this overlay That's my thing. That sucks. Sure does. Here we go. That might work. Get rid of it before the HTTP and that might work. Let's go 720p. Shit, that comes out right. That works. Yeah, but 720p is still fine. It's nice and clear. Yeah, the music is fine. I'll just say doll it back. Just doll it down a bit. Yeah, I was just thinking that with the movement and stuff. I can show you a few tricks to freeze the frame and punch in. And you can do, um, well, you'll be able to slow down bits. There's a tomato there.
30 second clips. Yep. Blech. So when you do the 30 second clips, do you have to start it again or does it automatically shoot another 30 second clip? You have to hit the button again. So it lets you know when it stopped. Two little beeps. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Alright, so yeah, there's a couple of things we can do. So the clips are not too bad. I mean I see you you've got 30 seconds, so you just have to get into into using um use get used to not rushing because yeah, in your brain you're gonna be thinking I've only got 30 seconds, I've only got 30 seconds. But if you can just hit the button again and do another 30 seconds, you'll get used to working out how long that is. And you know, on a, on a shell section, if you get used to, okay, I've got 30 seconds and, it, and you'll be able to work out over, you know, after you do it a few times, you'll be able to work out, okay, if I start here and I do a pan across and then go down and pan across and then do a jam and pan across and there's your 30 second hand for that little section. And then once you've got that, that clip, that 30 second clip, we'll be able to slow it down and punch in. So, so what we'll be able to do is you, you'll do that clip twice in the timeline. So you do the first one, so everyone can see what it is, and then you'll go back in, and on that first row, you'll punch in on that, slow it right down. So as you're panning across and you use um, optical flow, so it doesn't look all jerky and messed up or whatever, so you've got to slow it right down. Um, because there's no actual movement in there, there's only you moving. So we'll be able to slow that right down and stabilize it and do all that cool shit punch in on it, um, sharpen it a little bit so it'll be easier to see the crap, um, and then punch back out, do the next line, punch in, punch out. Um, once you get used to doing that, yeah, that'll, that'll look really good. We can do that. Even if you want to upload all the raw footage, give us a link and um, I'll, have a, I'll have a play with the edit. But I think, yeah, if the next time you do it, just do a, you know, do a slow pan on the first, the first row, like in a reasonable field of view, because you don't want to be too far left and right. Come back, and then come back. Two to three hours to make this shit. Yeah, it will for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you that shit, for sure. Yeah, I think if you go up, if you walk up to a section and you just look at it, do the first bit, come back down, do the first bit, come back down, first bit, and then if you stop that bit and then walk along to the next bit, you do less than 30 seconds on each bit, and then once you load all those in, 
and then you'll be able to, um, yeah, punch in on them and then slow them down. Because you only need a few seconds for each. Well, that's why I think if you keep the first clip where you're just looking, and then everyone gets a rough idea what it is, and then when you punch in, you only need a few seconds, like a second or two for each couple of few bottles, and people to be able to see the bottle, see the tag, and then the next one, next one, next one, next one. That was a pretty nice selection there. I wouldn't mind seeing some of those prices and some of those bottles too. But yeah, if you you punch in and then you know you'd be panning across and you'd be able to see the the bottle and the price. That'd be cool. No, man, that's cool. That was quite interesting. I was sitting there glued to it, watching it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, 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 oh how much that was. It's all practice, man. It's all practice, practice, practice. But yeah, once you get the hang of... Because, you know, this is the first time you've actually used the, the camera. Once you get the hang of using it, then you'll be able to, you know, it'll make it a lot easier on the editing for you. I think it turned out pretty good. Even if you do the, uh, the sideways thing. <laughs> you have to think about it, you, you've got a camera there. Like if you're walking up to a shelf and you just slowly do the, the sideways walk, walk like you, you would do it a, like a bookshelf. So you look up at, at the first lot shelf. So you've got that in full view. Do the old sideways movement. Then you go down the next one, do the sideways movement. Look down the next one, do the sideways movement for the 30 seconds, and then you step to the next bit, do the same thing. So you're doing the zigzag, and you'll get the whole fucking lot. Because the main thing when you're doing something like that is you don't want the... Like if you're looking and you suddenly turn your head and it's fast movement, because that's kind of disorientating. And all you do is you cut that. Yeah, exactly. Plenty of bottles. It would be cool to, you know, freeze it and stuff. And and the other thing is, if you want to make it really easy, like I was saying before, if, if you can get away with just taking photos, that would actually be easier because you literally just walk up to the shelf, take a photo. So you can incorporate the two things. So you could walk in there with the camera do you look around so you actually get to see what the what the place actually looks like and see what's on the shelf. Then you punch in on the photos. And it's so easy with the photos. Oh, you got the photos? Oh, cool. So once you got the photos, you can just put them in and you just punch in and then and then zoom across with the photos. And, you know, that'll be nice and slow panning. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. Use the camera to start off with. So you get to see that. Yep. Yeah, I can definitely help you with that. So the first bit will be the, the video you're looking around, which would be cool, and then punch in on the on the photo so you get to see all the all the shit. Yep. No photo at other places a few days ago. Yeah. But I reckon you do a combination the camera and the and the photo. Because with the camera you get to see around and then you can punch them on the on the photo. The photo is pretty easy, you literally just drag it in 
And then there's a couple ways of doing it. But yeah, you can just drag a photo in there, stretch it out how long you want it to be, and then you can click on, on the viewer, there's a little white box, click on that and it gives you grab handles, and then you can just click on a keyframe, zoom in, and then you can just pan across on the photo. I'll show you how to do that, it's a piece of piece. Piece of puff. Actually, I could even probably show you how to do that right now. Do a screen share for you. Maybe? What do you think? Close focus on the camera seems to be fine. Maybe it would work to be up and close and you'll just walk real slow down the aisle. Yeah, but then, then you get more suspicious. But yeah, if you can get away with the photos, the photos will be the way to go. Because then they're, they're static. So you're not getting any motion to, to worry about then. But the camera's cool because you get to see it around. What the store looks like and shit. So you get the sense of environment. You get to see what, what the bottles are. And then you can punch in on the photos to see what, what's on the shelf and the pricing. Um, see if I can do a screen share. I'll show you how to do that it's piece of piece. Right, so if I add the scene and then highlight myself. View a full. View a full screen. Switching to full screen viewer. See it? All right. So if I just go over here, all right. So I'll just drag in a. I'll go down the R real slow without a camera. Guess it just depends on how you do it. All right. So I'll just drag in a picture of some sort. Picture, picture, picture. And then picture. Ah, oh, you son of a... Well, I didn't like that, it just crashed on me. <laughs> yeah, it just crashed on me. Ugh, technology. 
Viewer crop. Switching to cropped viewer. Viewer small. Switching to small viewer. Yeah, it just crashed on me. Didn't like the share screen. Get down there, oh, real slow without a camera. Yeah, but the problem is trying to punch in on 720p. It's probably a real low bitrate as well, so the resolution's going to be shite. But if you take a photo, it's going to be, like, even with just your phone, it's going to be high res, so you better, you better punch in. Plus you'll be able to sharpen it, the photo, without getting too many artifacts and shit. Even though a camera phone is pretty fucking compressed data. No, I wasn't fucking around, I was trying to stream. The technology tonight's been a complete piece of shit. That's for sure. Yep, all of Ken's streaming toys went haywire. But they're back. Not drinking any? Well, I just stopped that knock and do, and I was just thinking about what I actually want to have a little sip or something. And I started with Octanium. <laughs> and this is one to go straight into Octanium, so yeah, we started with Octanium. Now I'm going to try and think what I feel like. Don't really know. Don't really know what I feel like. I should probably go to sleep actually. Actually, that's something I haven't had for a while. It's an Aaron kind of day. Yeah, but let's do some Aaron. Let's go an Aaron Chevy. Hard to go up from obtaining me on her, right? Yeah, we went ass about face. We started with our pain and then worked our way down. <laughs> we'll go with some Aaron Sherry cars.
What's the upload rate? 8,000 kilowatts? Yeah, that's fine. So this one is a sherry cask, 55.8, natural cask strength, sherry hogshead, 250 litre. Oh, you lucky bastard, yeah, that Aaron 14. Hell yeah! You should definitely open your Aaron 14. Saw that bottle here in a shop for 400 seconds. What? This one? Or Aaron 14? I mean, a 14, I could understand. Really? This one? No. I could see the 14 being fucking piped to the shares. One second there. Hmm. Hmm? Really? What the fuck? People, what? <laughs> I'm dumbfounded by that. That's fucking ridiculous. That's really accessible. That makes no sense to me. Yeah, the 14 is it, though. Must have been an Aaron private cast for it to go 400. Yeah, I know, that doesn't make any sense. I don't get that. This is a standard liner. Yeah, definitely. Not a private cast. WTF. I mean that 14, yeah, I can understand the 14 going stupid on secondary. That's why I was dumbfounded when when you said, Jim, that it was 14. I'm like, are you sure? Because if it is, fucking go back and buy. Still got a case of it. Damn. I wouldn't mind one. Old 14 is 60 out there, show. A case? Yeah. I mean, this is pretty damn tasty, but yeah, it's not worth the for and blast. In a case of the L40? Huh. Hell yeah! Good day. Top shelf, Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Hey, did you just see what Bourbon Ball said? This. Cast strength, sherry cast, Aaron. Not a private. 400 bucks on second room?
Yeah, secondary part of the bank by the choice of the owners that gouge the pricing. Yeah, exactly. And then dickheads will pay for it. More money than brains. Set by the buyers, yep. Dickheads that buy it. It's the only reason people can sell it for that. Shit, <laughs> that is fucking insane. Absolutely ridiculous. You just zip the file. He zipped the file as in that. <laughs> 42,000 kilobytes? To 42,001 kilobytes. Ha! That worked really well. <laughs> uh, what was the file you were trying to compress? They just love how some things just do not compress. I was going to say, is it a uh, Excel file? Yeah. They don't like squashing down. They are very bloated files. I think that's going to have to be a Dropbox link. Especially if it's got images in it. Don't mind the new packaging on those. Spirit Company. Imported by Nippy Sweetie Holdings. Over in Victoria. It's a weird fucking name. Yeah, 79 kilobytes of savings. Woo woo! Yes, JPEGs are already compressed, depending on the compression level. And JPEGs are one of the most shittiest fucking compression algorithms around. So outdated. PageFig is so much better, but yeah. Not very well supported yet. I mean, you could try RAW compression. It's usually a bit better than ZIP. In saying that, you're not going to get too much on Excel with the embedded images. That's what you call some bloatware.
pretty dicey stuff. Not bad. Little pepper on the end of the tongue. A little bit of funk in the sherry. Not bad. Oh, it's using PNGs. Well, it depends on how the PNGs were saved out, whether they're going to be large or not. But definitely preserving transparency will increase the size. Can't you just stick it on one drive and share the link? We'll just directly share the file. Funky Sherry sounds like a stripper. Coming up next on the main stage, Funky Sherry. <laughs> So it looks like Steve's implemented another kind of remote high frame system to control OBS Ninja, Video Ninja, so we'll have to look at that. And then the system I've got works pretty well. I just need him to add the highlight command. Actually, I just realized I could have embedded Ben's video into the stream and shared that. Because that works. There's already a functionality to have files. It just works. So anything that's got an iframe, you can embed it. Which is pretty damn cool.
Computer, time. Computer, time. Accessing. One forty two. I suppose I should go get some sleep, y'all. Saying that, I'll stay up for another hour. <laughs> when I finish the stream about one o'clock, I didn't go to bed till like three o'clock in the morning. But I don't think I'll do that again tonight. Because I didn't want to get up this morning. So yeah, I don't know when I'll stream next. Can't stream tomorrow night. Mm, can't really do Friday night. Saturday night might get away with. Maybe. Nah, I'm on daddy duty on Sunday. Good night. I don't know. I don't look that far ahead. Each line item for a month? Yes, you do, but then I have to extract each day. It'll take forever. Oh, great. Copy and paste the same line 30 times and change the day by one. <laughs> great. <laughs> Bugger going to Tim Hortons. <laughs> yep, stay indoors in the aircon. Just save the company three hours of useless work. That's a win win. Oh. Alright, I suppose I better go crash. Lots of shit to do in the next few days. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll uh, catch us all in a few days. Well, I've got some free time to stream Until then, have a good one. Where's the end button? Here it is, found it.